what's going on guys and we're back at it with another one and we just made it to Guyana the Amazon jungle well actually we are in Georgetown South America right now boy let me tell you uh, we barely got here today guys barely got here we had Hurricane Ian on our heels and our plane was delayed we almost didn't take off um, it was just oh yeah and then when we got to the airport um, apparently we had no reservation with Suriname Airways. I do not recommend Suriname Airways. <laughs> not at all. Uh, John's over there, but he's basically nude right now, so not gonna show him. So yeah, it was a pretty long, tough excursion to actually get to Guyana. Luckily, we were finally at the hotel. We we're about to go chow down on some dinner. And tomorrow, we're gonna be taking a small plane to a native village way out in the jungle, then hopping on some boats we'll see you at the airport. It is morning two, day two here in Guyana. We are waiting on our ride. We are by some lovely Georgetown Canal. There it is there. But we're waiting for a ride. We're gonna hop on a plane. The three amigos are here. Chris, John, we're all pumped up for this big Amazon trip. We'll see you on the plane. We're about to hop on the plane. We're heading to Awakarama which is a little airstrip out in the jungle and face masks are required on a small plane. So here's your first glimpse of what's going on here. Very small, very tight little plane. We're all trying to jam in this tiny plane. Not easy to do. Oh boy. We're all on here. One more guy, maybe. It's gonna be an interesting flight to say the least. Get back to you while we're taking off. All right, plane is starting up. So here we go, boys. We're off to the Amazon jungle. What do you think, John? I'm, I'm pumped. pumped. Yeah. By the way, this is Dave. He's another gentleman on our fishing trip. Let's see if we make it. Go walk around. Going up the runway to turn around and then take off. Mm -hmm. I think. Or maybe we're just taking off right here.
there's Melvin. We just made it to the Amazon. Oh, here we are. Get this mask down. Here we are in a Wakarama. This airstrip out here, made out of solid clay, no tarmac out in the, middle of the Amazon. Again, this was our plane we were on, Air Service LCC or something like that. And we have a van waiting for us. And we're about to be picked up, brought to our boats, and head out to camp. We made it down to the Essequibo River. There's Chris. And I see our first obstacle just ahead. There's rapids right over there. But we're waiting on some boats. So we're here, boats are not. Hopefully they come soon so we don't roast in this Amazonian sun. Well, our boats are arriving and we're gonna try to get four guys, guides, and luggage all in these little aluminum boats. And we'll see you on the river. So we are on a boat, we are heading to camp. Here's our expedition team, Dave, Chris, John. I don't even know the driver's name yet. our cabin hopefully get some food and water like i said things have changed up since we've been here here's Navin, awesome guy met him back in 2015 when this was just a camp just with tents and hammocks and look at it now he's got a full blown lodge going on here absolutely amazing make sure you check out Navin, pier reba lodge what's the website world wide web AdventureGuyanas.com. So you that's go. World Wide Web, Adventure Guyanas. Adventure Guyanas, one word. Please note Guyanas is spelled with an I. Okay. G U I A N E S dot com. So that's our website. And welcome to Periba Lodge. Thank you, you know, so much. Where dreams become a reality. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Certainly, dreams are going to be made. Chris's first time. He's going to catch a monster Periba. Heck yes. <laughs> this is the cabin. We got a couple beds. There's the sink. There's light, and believe it or not, there's a bathroom and a shower. How about that? First time in Guyana in a cabin. The rest of the times, like I said before, I've been in tents and hammocks. So this is definitely luxury. No real intro, but we are out here last couple hours a day, first day, not even our real first day. And we're just trying to get bait really so we could catfish from the beach tonight. But I wouldn't mind a big peacock at all. Not one bit. I hope you got to see a giant explosion, dude. Ah.
Gotta get my cast game down here. Yeah. Just have this light baby bull shot on right now. Watch where you're casting. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. All right, good. Chris is on first fish of the Amazon trip. What do you got? Piranha, good bait. Be careful, that is a piranha. I know. I, I... Get your pliers out. Just All the right. Crocs. You the removal tool. I'm sorry? The Crocs and the removal tool. I got them. All right, there's a piranha. There's Chris with his first Amazon fish, and it's a little piranha. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. All right. All right, you broke it, you broke the seal. Time to catch some bigger fish. There you go, another piranha. You know what's doing is when I hit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you got him on? Yeah. No! <laughs> there you go. I was just trying to reel it in to recast. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Fish on. First fish for me in the Amazon. Nice peacock, dude. Nice. Yes. Oh, he's off. Oh, God. Nice big peacock right there, guys. Oh, on. On. Another nice peacock, I think. Heck yes. They're stacked up right there, apparently. Yeah, Cicla catarate, it's a new species. That's what's up, Cicla catarate. This is the species that we actually wanted to target. I caught this back in 2015 and it wasn't identified to science until 2019. There it is. Unhook it without getting hurt. Okay. Hook it just over the side of the boat. Stop it. Stop it. All right. There it is right there, guys. Cicla Cotarate, or the yellow peacock bass. First catalog to science in 2019. Heck yeah, dude. We're gonna let this beautiful peacock go. Place him in with the current, and he's good. He's good. Yes. Thanks, Chris. No problem. Thank you. Whew. They're blowing up over there too. It was already bigger than the ones we catch in Florida, huh? Yeah. Bigger than the ones I've seen. Come on, 12-pound peacock. 12 pounds. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Another pea. Another peacock. Smaller one. A lot smaller. All right, that's a butterfly peacock. This is the one we catch in Florida. Heck yes. All right, that's all right. That's fine with me. Quick release, little butterfly peacock bass. And look, my rod just came apart. Yeah, so my hooks are straightened out and my rod just fell apart, so perfect. All right. Shut off the camera. <laughs> Cast right over there. There's a shallow area. Deep, yeah, yeah. Deep, shallow, deep. Yeah, it's fish, it. fellas. That's snag. Yep, it's a good one. Yes. It's good fish. Yes, Chris. Yeah, Chris is on. Good. Yes, yeah, a big male, dude. Yes. Dude, I thought it was that snag it hit so hard. <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> Almost jumped in his lap. 
Yes, dude. <sighs> yes. Oh boy, he's got fight in him. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to bring him, bring the line to me. Very nice. First real Amazon fish for Chris. Big old male, peacock. Again, Cicla Cotarate, the new species. That's what's up. That's why we're here, guys. That is why we're here. Chris? Check that out. Big male, big old male. How much do you think that weighs? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Yeah. Dude, that's unreal. Just... You could, yeah, put them in with the bogus. You could do it on this side too because your rod's there. Yeah. Put them in with the bogus. Grab by the tail just like a snook. Just like a snook. There you go, dude. Yes. He's ready. <laughs> yes. Thank you. God. Yes. We found a little honey hole apparently over here. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. Full Watch of peacocks. Yes. Oh, there he is. Fish on. I saw him eat it. I saw him eat that. That was sick. It's definitely a smaller fish. But I saw him come off that shallow little flat and just smack it. Yes. You're doing so good right now. Butterfly. Butterfly peacock. All right, there he is, just a little butterfly peacock. Can you see the difference? Big. The two black spots where these guys typically have that little bit of striping going on. How many other species of peacock can we catch? This is it, we caught them already. Unless there's a new species out there, which is extremely possible. This one's gonna become bait for big catfish. There he is, fish on, another peacock. Yeah. About the same size. Just a little peewee. We're not gonna keep this, oh, hey. Like I said, we're not gonna keep this one anyhow, so good. Good, good. I'm gonna need pictures of little peacocks. Five pounds and bigger, come on. Oh, right next to the boat, dude. <laughs> Right next, I know. <laughs> it's a little Cicla Cotarate. What's up, little dude? How you doing? He inhaled it. Big time inhaled it. Big time inhaled it. Polar is in his gold. He might not. Be good. There he is, guys. Another Cicla Cotarate, but unfortunately, he definitely swallowed up. Damn. Managed to get that lure out of the fish's mouth, so we're gonna let this beautiful fish go. Chris, actually, I'll show you YouTube as well. Butterfly peacock bass, Cicla Cotarate. Very similar, but this is a new species in science. There we go, yep. He took off. Nice. All right. Hell yeah, dude. That was barely day one. That was like a couple hours here just so we can get some bait. We ended up catching slaw peacock bass, like twin seven pounders, something like that estimated. Now we're heading back to the camp slash lodge and time for dinner. It is day two. Well, actually really yesterday was only a couple hours of fishing. So today's really morning of day one started off really well yesterday for only a couple hours of fishing got quite a few peacock bass some of them like five to seven pounds which is pretty awesome i was definitely not expecting that last night was a little rough to sleep i had like a party of like three vampire bats sleeping five feet from my head screeching and crawling all around me so yeah um i don't have any 
bites on my fingertips, so I don't think I'll be spreading a new type of COVID around. So that's at least a good start to the day. We're just getting up. Boys are still sleeping or kind of in a slumber back in the cabin there. And we're going to eat breakfast pretty soon, and we're going to head out on the water. Good morning from the Amazon jungle of Guyana. Beginning of the real day one here. Let's see if you can manage a nice peacock and a piranha for bait. Yeah, it's in that fast moving stuff and chopper. Yep. Oh, oh. Alrighty, got struck. How's it going under? Oh my, there he is. Fish on. Fish on. Nice peacock. How about that explosion, dude? Yeah. Oh, he's off. That's okay. Next? Yeah. <laughs> good. Very good. Don't sting me. They bees don't usually sting you, they just hover around you. You gonna put that in your video? Oh, there we go. Fish on. There we go. Coming right at me. Nice. Doesn't feel that big. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah. He was just, wow. Big peacock. He didn't feel that big at all. Nice cyclocaterate. And I got the bee hovering my face, too. <laughs> all right. Now he's going to wake up. He swam right at me. No. Nice. Just gotta let him tire out maybe. Let him chill. This fish is still green. He didn't fight that hard in the beginning. So we're just gonna let them tire out so treble hooks aren't flying around. Come on, Chris, follow up. Got its mate. Get the male. I think this is a big female. Big female looking on me. Maybe five, five pound? Maybe six. Six? Six, seven. Guys, all right, check out that fish right there. Beautiful looking Ani Cicla Caterate, the new species identified in 2019. And yeah, he's right, probably six or seven pounds. Beautiful fish. We're gonna get her back in. And we're just gonna give her a second. She's ready to go. All right, let's get some more. I think I gotta fix some hooks here real quick though. Look, the power of the Lokanani. It's straight and regular hooks that we'd use back in the USA. The peacocks in the USA have nothing on these peacocks here. So how about that beautiful fish? Let's see if we could follow up with another one the same size. Oh, there he is. Another fish on. Nice. It's a male. I think it's a male. Yep, male. Butterfly? I think it's a butterfly. No, it's a it's a catarate. It's the male. There he is. There he is. I caught the pair. <laughs> All right. This is 
her mate right here. Beautiful male, Cicla Cotarate. So happy to catch these fish. She's definitely a little smaller, but awesome. We're gonna get him right back in, send him home with his girl. There he goes, nice. Heck yeah, I caught the pair. Yes. Very good. I'm good at catching anything in the river that's not fish. <laughs> yeah, that's not fish. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yes, sir, and that's the beauty of travel rods right there. That is the beauty of three-piece travel rods. That's right, by the end of the week, they'll be like glued together. Is that a nest? Where? Oh yeah, that's a termite mound. Really? Yeah. And if you poke the termite mound, they'll all come out to repair the nest. You could also eat them. I've eaten the termites out of the mounds before you put a stick in, take them out, right out, crunch them up. It's like pop rocks in your mouth. <laughs> it's good, good protein. I mean, I'll eat a termite. There you go. There we go. That's good fish. See? Yep. Nice. Yeah, just be careful with the troubles. Okay. Hey, Chris, nice job. You ought to be on me, dude. my hand up screw him by the mouth with him he's just a little guy like florida okay perfect beautiful little cyclic cotarate they got to start at some size right yeah all right man do you need a picture of that one no nah. wait for a bigger one right yeah all right toss him back. toss him back in nice shot dude heck yeah nice swim on bleeding a little bit huh Fish, is no. that the fish blood? Okay. That's nice, mate. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't worried about him falling off when I swung him, you know what I mean? Yeah. The only thing you got to be careful of is him throwing a lure. There you go. There you go. Nice, Chris. Good. Good. That's a better one. Coming right at us for a second. Oh, I false hooked him. It's a good fish though. Yeah. Really good fish. Nice, dude. Good. That's the male. I would boga grip him. Either yours or mine. Okay, good. There you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just be careful him throwing that warp. Oh, no. Oh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. You've got to be kidding me. That's why there's some spare rods, right? Yeah, I guess I learned that lesson. <laughs> All right. There you go. Broken rod, but we got a good fish. All right, I'll get a picture of you with that beautiful peacock. Perfect. Chris is just gonna let this fish go. Um, yeah. Good. Nice, man. Good job. All right. Well, right now, just retie whatever lure you want onto your bait caster. That's it. Yep. That's all you can do. All right. It happens.
I've broken plenty of rods. That thing exploded. Yeah. I think what happened was it had too much of a bend and then he did something. So if you want to reach high onto that rod, that lure, whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, if, if we're... I mean, yeah. That was also the cheap one too. So I don't think it was made for this. Right. Hmm. That's all right, things happen. Yeah, be careful around that. I'm letting you get this one. <laughs> nice male peacock for Chris. A lot of cichlid cutarate this trip. I'm happy to see him. Last time it was mostly butterflies. Beautiful fish. Chris is going to get them released back in. There you go. Nice, man. Good job. One broken rod. Two big fish. Two big fish. So it is what it is. All right, let's see what we can do next. We just set up at a catfish spot. Both Chris and I have rods in. Chris's first attempt at an Amazon catfish. We just put our lures away with treble hooks because we don't need any accidents getting hooked while reeling in one of these big Amazonian giants. Chris, what do you think? How are you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous, yeah. A little excited. Uh, a little excited, <laughs> rightfully so. Uh, let's see what happens. Camera's gonna go off until we get a bite. Where'd it go? Yeah. The drag, tighten the drag, tighten the drag. It's tight. Take the drag. More? Take the drag. Chris is on to a big old catfish right now. Oh, yeah, baby. Tight. There you go, buddy. I'm so happy for you right now. I'm so happy for Chris right now. Yes. Good. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy you were the first bite. Let's stay tight. Keep him tight. We don't know how big he is yet. It's not a 200 pound lao lao, I can tell you that. If you're struggling, you can put your right hand further up the rod butt, but whatever you're comfortable with. I just want to keep it tight. Yep. There you go, Mr. River Monster. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Good job. What does he have? His first Amazon. Just stay tight. Two liter. Okay, we're going to see what it is. Big red tail. Ooh. Yes, Chris. Good job, buddy. <laughs> he's not done. He's not done. He knows he's hooked. He's not done. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's just what I was hoping that you would catch. <laughs> so let me know what I got to do with this thing. Just keep it tight. That's what you got to do. There he is. You, me? Yeah. You? Yeah. Okay. He's going to, he's going to help. I'm going to get out of his way, the guide. Just tell me what to do. Look at that, guys. Big old red tail. That's a big one, buddy. Yes, Chris. <laughs> you hear him? Yep. Big old banana fish. Well, I guess they're not held. Yeah. So See, you just got to trust in yourself, man. Nice. I got gotcha. you. There it is. Yep, yep. Perfect. Perfect, Chris. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. There it is. Okay. All right. Let me get the hook. Where's my plier? Oh, 
<laughs> we almost lost that, buddy. Definitely gonna get a picture of this giant red tail for Chris. Chris, I'm so happy for you, buddy. All right. What do I do with this thing? Chris is gonna release this red tail. See you later, yeah. bud. I need to hit the gym today. Is he still there? It's on there. Yeah. It's in something. I think it's off. Just keep on reeling, keep on reeling. No, it's not. Keep on reeling. Smaller. Right. It's in something. Come on. It's in something. Yeah, that's what I mean. I could feel it was in something. I have no idea. Is this enough I want to drag? He's on? Okay, tighten. Tighten the drag. Oh. Well. Slid. No, he's in there. He's in there. Sliding. He's on there. He's on there. When it slid, I could feel him. Oh. oh, okay. I gotta tighten the drag. Tighten the drag. Is he on there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a leopard, leopard cat. Nice. Right, bring him on up. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Nice, beautiful leopard catfish. Multi-species angler today, huh? We're gonna probably get some more bait on and toss back out and see what else we can catch. So cool. Look at this. How amazing is this rock garden right here? We're at a new catfish spot and we're gonna toss in in a moment here. Okay, Chris, go ahead. Right there? I'll toss in, toss in right over that way. All right, so basically there's holes here that these catfish sit in and we're gonna toss it. Okay. Good? Good? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's still sinking. No, we're good. Mine's still sinking. Mine sank for a while. Well, now it's just a sit and wait game and hopefully I get a shot here at a nice red tail or something. See what happens. Wait to get it this way. Yes. Yep, yep, fish on. Fish on. Fish on, guys. There we go. First fish and a big rod doesn't feel monsters, but nonetheless, maybe a leopard. 
Let's see what we got here, guys. Red tail, a little red tail. How awesome is that? Cool little red tail catfish. Perfect. I call one this size the last time too. That's pretty cool. Chris, this is your baby right here. That's how they start out? Yeah. We're gonna try to get the grips on him here. Come on. All right, got ourselves a little baby red tail. Let's pop the hook out so we can get the danger element out of the way. All right, let's get this little pupster back home. We're just gonna simply release the grips and he should be okay. Let's give him a second. Give him a second to swim. Just make sure he revives. We don't want to waste him. He should be all right. Same thing like I do with the snook back home. Shake their tail a little bit. Kind of relieves the lactic acid build up. You gonna be good, bud? There he goes slowly. Let's make sure he doesn't come back up. There he goes. He was hooked a little deep, unfortunately. So hopefully he'll be okay. I think he will. They're pretty resilient fish. Let's get another line back out there so we can get his granddaddy. Yep, there he is. Fish on. <laughs> I'm like, why does it keep on going? God. All right, I literally just cast in, and I'm like, damn it, Steve, here, because my line kept on going. There's another fish. <laughs> Talking about one after another, huh? Phew, another little guy, whatever it is. Oh, there's the big black piranha. Yeah, that's a piranha. That's a real deal piranha. That I'm scared of. <laughs> that's a scary fish. Maybe we put him. Whew, here's a big old piranha right there. Big black piranha. Look at that nasty teeth, Chris. Awesome. You want the plier? He's a brave man. He's a brave man right there. Great white shark teeth in that little fish. Got him? Yep. Small. Proud of probably. Not a head shake. What do you got there, Chris? I know what I'm dragging him in. Yeah, more bait. So basically bring it back to him and he's just gonna put it in the back of the boat. All right, we're getting some black piranhas. This is the piranha species I wanted Chris to see. There's a the big old black piranhas. Nice. No, just keep it. Growling at them. All right. Good, we got catfish bait for tonight and catfish bait for tomorrow too. Well, it is morning two and we are back on the boat. And we're gonna start off with some peacocks, arowana, payara maybe. Definitely try to get some piranhas for some baits. Now let's get on the water, see what happens today. So we are gonna do a lot of catfishing today, but this was that first spot from that evening that we we're here. And we're gonna see if these peacocks are still sitting on that ledge there. We were like right there. I wanted to cast a little further, but that was kind of a botch cast. We're definitely going to redo that. Learning today, boys. Well, we're going to try off 
with some catfish first year, and then maybe we'll find some spots with some arowana and payara later on. So let's see if the kitties are hungry right now. So we tried a catfish spot before, just didn't really have any bites. So we are back in Pier Reba Alley to see if we can get revenge. Let's see if we can get big old Lau Lau. Cause I'm starting to get a bite, starting to get a bite. I think, I think we have the real deal. Let's see. Come on. That was pretty instant. I don't know if that's a current or him. It's him swimming, right? That's him swimming, right? Should I strike him? All right, guys. Pure Valley, round two. I don't think anyone's there. No, no one's there. All right, guys, we're on. Doesn't feel gigantic, but we're on. Okay, it's okay. We are on, on, on. First fish of the day for me. I'm out, I'm out. Don't know what it is. It's not the big giant Lao Lao, but I'm happy nonetheless. I set the hook like it was a 400 pound fish. <laughs> oh, just a big black piranha. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Look at the size of that piranha. A mega piranha. Biggest piranhas in the world right there. Whew. My man's got to be careful there with that thing. That's like a great white shark of the Amazon. I see the teeth from here. Yeah. And they're buried behind a sheath of skin. Those teeth are three times that size in there. Thank you. Good. We're going to let him go. We got quite a bit of bait. And off he goes to steal someone else's bait. <laughs> Straight ahead, tapir, swimming. See him? Oh, wow. There's the tapir. That is all, oh, he went under. Will he come up? Yeah, probably. There's the tapir here, guys. He's right here. He's right here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's right here. That is badass. There's a tapir over here. That is so cool, we just saw a tapir. Is he, is he up on land? Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably having a hard time seeing him. I see him in the bushes here. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, that is so cool, guys. That's a highly endangered species called a tapir. You're not gonna be able to see him that well, but I'm sure I could zoom in to where the head was swimming across the river. That is badass. He's up there, you see him? Yep. There's the tapir. That was so cool. <laughs> wow I still see him yeah. wow very cool yeah he's I'm really glad I got to see that climbing up into the jungle there but very cool wow hear him crunching away so cool to see wow very fortunate to see that they're endangered and he's just walking his way up the hill there wow lucky to see that very lucky only in guyana highly endangered species right in front of us so i'm getting a bite i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait definitely getting a bite film still mouthing it he's munch 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 
And as he was saying that if you really don't get a bite within the first 20 minutes or so, you got to you got to move on. Yeah, yeah. You sit too long, you waste time. Yeah, you sit too long, you waste time where you could find a spot where. Right, right. Right. So yeah, the bites are going to be quick if they're here and ready to eat. So far today, I got kind of plagued with black piranhas at each spot, but hopefully there's a nice big catfish waiting for me here. I don't feel the munch anymore, but he has to be right near it, unless it's a piranha. I think I'm just going to set the rod down and wait on him, let him do his thing. What do you think? No. No, maybe piranha, huh? All right. This is kind of what I've been plagued with today. Bites, bites, but not taking it all the way. They're just kind of mouthing it. So I'm just going to put on a fresh piece of bait. You can tell it was not a piranha because it's not bit in half. Some sort of catfish. He took it from the fast water and brought it into the pool i'm gonna give it a lob out and see you later up oh, kind of that's right that's right not exactly where i wanted but it worked because that fish definitely swam into here with it these catfish this time around are taking a little while to eat this bait Last time I was here, they just grabbed it and went with it. So they're being slightly hesitant. And we'll wait for the kitty cat to come back. Chris has, there, yeah, 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 strike, strike, strike. Tight, tighten, tighten, and strike. Strike. I couldn't get it. That's okay, that's okay. Hey, look at me, I didn't, you know. It went slack while I was tightening it. Yeah, yeah. They're dropping it. They're feeling this little bit of tension, dropping it. There's another catfish that took his bait, but they are dropping it. <clears throat> Turn to drag quick enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red tail. Red tail. Break it. Break it. Thank you. Let me get out of your way now. Yeah. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. On this way now? Yeah. yeah. Big fish, guys. Very big fish. I feel like this is a jow. This is a jow. Oh my god, this is a big fish. Oh, we came off. Are you serious? God, guys, just no luck today. Oh, that was a big jow. I feel it. I can't believe it. Every single fish was coming off. Got caught in the damn tree, got out of it, still had him on. God, love you. All right, just got to chill out. We're going to get our chances. We still have seven and a half days. While we're eating lunch, we just saw marijuana. Just ate some lunch and saw some arowana swimming around. So we're gonna attempt to fish for some now and see what we can do. Aggressive little eel-like fish. Hopefully you'll see what I mean. There he is, nice. Oh, by Cuda. Huh? Yeah, yeah by Cuda. I was too late with that one. Sorry. Hey, hey. Yeah, here. Let me see. Bicuda. Bicuda. 
them. What do I do with them? Swing them? Yeah. Nice, dude. Let's do it. Finally. Yeah. Talk about how hard these things are to catch. I'm glad. Yeah. Um, I assume it has a lot of teeth. Yeah, it has some teeth. Like everything else here. You're still snagged up. Yeah. Okay, right okay. I'm all snagged up. Chris just got his first bicuda. God. Sorry. Do you mind just getting a quick photo? No, of course I am. Chris just got this awesome little bicuda. Very hard fish to land. They strike often, but you can barely get them in. All right, let them go. All nice, right. man. We're gonna attempt one more time for catfish here. Good, okay. good cast. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice catfish. That's something on, probably a piranha. Pretty sure. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not a piranha. Okay, whatever it is, just woke up. Okay, seems a little significant now. Very nice. Come on now, let's see what you are. Red tail, red tail catfish, nice. Good. All right, my first decent red tail of the trip. Nice. Heck yeah, I'm happy with that. Love these red tail catfish, they're absolutely beautiful. Let them calm down a little bit before we try to boat them. Wanna do me a favor? Bring them up. Good. Yeah. All right. Check this out. Beautiful red tail catfish. You gonna be a good boy? Feel that sound they're making there? Pretty crazy. Beautiful red tail catfish. We're just gonna toss them right back in. Thanks, bud. See ya. Whew, yes. Cup your spool. All right, Chris is on to a good fish. What do you got there, Chris? Another red tail? It's heavy. <sighs> Don't go under the boat. This side? Other way. I'm gonna stand still here. Oh, Lau Lau. Wow. There you go, Chris. You got a pure Eva. Yeah, look at that. There's the Lau Lau guy. <laughs> oh, wait. 
Nice, Chris. Just like this? Yeah, it's a good thing. Okay. I think I got it, right? This is a beautiful Lao Lao Pirariba catfish. We're going to let him go quick. Ready? All right. Yeah. See ya. He's good. That's real good. Nice, dude. You got a Pirariba. Heck yeah. First Pirariba. Lao Lao for Chris. Nice, man. I'm happy about that. Very good. That was good. Pirariba Alley. <laughs> It's, you know, it tried to go in a snag. No. Just keep reeling. Just keep That's reeling. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, leopard. Leopard, big leopard. Still has fight in it. Big leopard. Nice. Yeah, let him go. I'm just trying to keep it tight. Yeah, yeah. Big leopard catfish. Nice. Heck yeah, man. Beautiful. Let's see, do you think he's ready? Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> Getting closer, though. Nice. He's getting tired. Nice. Got him. Oh yeah, it's beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Chris with a beautiful leopard catfish. What do you want to do with him? Mm -hmm. the guy, huh? The guy for lunch tomorrow. For lunch? Okay. You want him? Yeah, we can keep him for lunch. Gotta be careful of the spines on these things. His whiskers broken anyway. He went. And we're gonna have him for lunch tomorrow. Nice man. Blood. Yeah. Oh. Nice man. I don't, <laughs> don't want the blood all over me. Heck yeah. All right. Multi species catfish guy over here. Big catfish guy, huh? Catfish king. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> Morning three here in Guyana. Just changed cabins last night. Uh, the other night I woke up to a vampire bat right next to my face and there's like five of them living in my cabin. Starting to feel, well I did start to feel a little sick. It is not COVID. I tested and I am negative. So that's a good sign. I'm feeling okay. So we'll see uh, what the day brings and if I get worse or not. But I am here for a mission and I'm on a mission to film this for you guys. So let's get to it. up ahead there. I know it's probably hard to see in a GoPro, but beautiful, beautiful macaws, scarlet macaws. Now they go into the jungle. There it is. There it is. All right. Nice, dude. Piranha. Yeah. All right, Chris just got some bait, at least. <laughs> We're not bringing him on board. Yeah, maybe bring back here. You want this? Hmm. 
Be careful. Don't want my fingers in there. Oh, it's not okay. So, all right, we got Pete. That was a little scary. And you're dealing with the piranha with those teeth like that, man. Well, at least we accomplished one mission, Pete. <laughs> he totally bit these pliers up pretty good, huh? Did he really? Yeah. He's like, oh, great, another piranha. No! What kind of piranha is this? It looked like a piranha coming up. I think a piranha might have been going for it, too. Can you um, drag him this way? Yeah. That's a beautiful one, too. You got him, you got him. There's Chris with his first peacock of the day. Let her go. Nice, dude. Some serious rockets going on. I gotta keep it up. Here he goes. Got him. Fish on. First one on the bait caster for me, actually, this trip. As soon as I got on the other side of that rock, that submerged. Nice one. Nice male. Heck yeah. Oh, wow. He, he didn't fight hard, so I'm waiting for him to free. Let him tire out a little bit so I don't deal with an angry peacock with trebles. Now he realizes something's up. Oh, oh he broke the line. Now that peacock has a new lure with him. <laughs> so he's swimming around with that for a little bit. Yeah, he broke the line on me. That's okay. Clean cut. It is what it is. I'm happy. You got to see him. Beautiful male right next to the boat. Backlash. There you go. Nice, dude. <laughs> Butterfly peacock, like the ones we catch in Florida. Nice. See the big difference there? Very big difference. Do you want the. Uh... I think I can get them with these. Yeah, he'll get it out right away. So, you know, we're going to just watch your hands with the branch. Wow. That was a hard one, huh? And he just got the lure out of his mouth for us because that was a pretty difficult hook set there. You want to hold him, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to try to revive this little butterfly peacock. And there he goes. All right. Yeah, he swam off. He swam off just fine. He devoured that lure, and all the troubles were in his mouth.
almost threw the rod at you. <laughs> of course, I got the... That one? But I have debris on it, dude. Cast straight ahead. He's hungry. No! He didn't... There you go, Chris. No! It's just like a tarpon. They're hard for you to keep on. We're going up on the rock. Going up on this rock. Just be careful getting out. It can be. All right, guys. Yeah, a little bit. The wet stuff. Just be careful in the wet. We are. We are walking up on this rock to catch an arowana. Uh, I'm gonna go catch at this one. Oh, Paku, Paku, Paku. Where? Here. On the other side, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guide's gonna catch the sarawana by handline. He's literally handlining a bait in these trees for marijuana. Pretty insane. We have a trail camera here. We actually have two trail cameras. He just brought us to a spot to set up some trail cameras. So we're gonna hop out of the boat and go into the jungle to set up this camera. Boots not going anywhere? That's tied up right And here we are in the jungle. Tap here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah, I see the footprint. See this footprint right here is tape here. Um, maybe like a highway, a trail that they follow, right? On the tree looking onto it. I would think. You like an animal path? Animal? Yeah, you can see the track. They're coming for you. Animal called AC. He's traveling my train. I don't put it in the water. It'd be funny if I got white-tailed deer. You want to go here? Sure, if you think it's a good spot. It's a good spot from there, but the animal will pass right here. Okay. It's a quick over there, a big farm. So I can't really right here. Okay. They will go this way? Yeah, anyway, that way, that really fast into the boat. Or the tigers. Like tigers is, the big one is like this. Go like three, three feet up. The, um, the labas and the thing is six feet. Six feet, six inch. Six inch. Yeah, six yeah, yeah, lava, lava, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you think maybe, I think maybe. that tree looking this, this way? This yes or no? Okay, so maybe one of the, like that tree. Yeah, that tree, that palm going this way. Yeah, this way. So okay. Here. Maybe yeah. machete the the palm, the palm leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Because the camera will, will videotape them. Yeah. <laughs> it's movement, you know? Yeah. Oh, that stuff's okay. Yeah, like this, maybe. Normally, I use a lock and I chain these for the tree so people don't steal Yeah, them, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not really worried about you. <laughs> All right. All right, so we found a tree that he's saying this path right here, there's a, a pond over this way. The animals follow this path towards the river so chris is setting up his first trail cam over here this is pretty cool it's about three feet uh use the shape of the tree to angle it a little different Ninety-nine percent battery. Okay. All right, eight seconds. It's on. So, would we be able to test it right now just to make sure it does something? No, no, because we won't be able to see the footage without the memory card. Well, I don't know if it shows something up front that, that it went off. No. Okay. I wish some some of them tell you the number. What I might do a little trick. I don't want it looking too far down at the ground. See the camera is kind of. That's straight out at. That's probably good. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Chris is putting a... Too thick. Too thick. He's going to find a stick to wedge in between the tree and the camera to angle it a certain way. That looks straight, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Good idea. Okay. I also... I just want... Because when the sun hits that, it, uh, it'll sense the IR light. Yeah. Okay. So we got the first camera set up. We do have another one, but he's thinking we're going to go to another spot for the other camera. Just this one here is catch some bait with it. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. That's pretty cool. So he just found these maggots, these worms, larvae, and you found them on that tree over there, right? The same tree here. The same tree here. Yeah. Okay. The coconut tree, called a palm tree. The palm tree. Yeah and those worms are inside and he said they're good bait awesome that's pretty cool it's a berry yeah it's a berry it's a so berry animals eat it. Animal eat this. okay so berry. good so we have bait around the century food yeah good spot as we found a, another spot uh, down river on the other side of the river to set up the next trail camera this is definitely pretty cool so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get off the boat again and set up the second camera the final camera i spent enough time in the woods to know i needed my hands up there <laughs> hmm. I can't see in the woods with the sunglasses. He's just clearing a path for us here. Oh. All the rods. Huh. The boat moved. It caught on top of the crock. Oh, just be careful grabbing stuff, walking up with the ants. Oh no, I just come oh, over the Ah, this is a little slippy, especially in these crocs. I kind of wish I had my boots. That would have been the smarter idea. He's in flip -flops. I know. Getting into the boat's gonna be interesting. There we go again. Look at this tree. That's really cool. Wow. That has thorns, by the way. Like, really good ones. This one? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's saying this tree here is the one with all the thorns on it. I can see, look at these big thorns, man. <laughs> they were. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't want them in me. They like the big trees. Yeah. No other plants in front. Leave you here. Would that be okay? Yeah, it's okay. Well, Spider web. So he's saying the jaguars like these big trees up ahead. So we're gonna try to find a spot to set up this trail cam to possibly capture a jaguar on film. How badass would that be? Something here? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see he's pointing out the trail that possibly a jaguar, tiger, deer. What about that tree with the vine? Looking down and anything that walks will show up. Yeah. Okay, so any of the trees on the side maybe? So you want to look down where they walk so they walk at it. So, because if they walk this way, it only catches yeah, 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 yeah. We just found a spot for the trail cam. It's saying, so when a jaguar, or what they call tiger, walks to the big tree, we'll capture a long video of it walking down. So, camera number two, on the other side of the river. We're gonna get the ape man. <laughs> I don't want dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs, ape man, the water mama. And he's just clearing out some of these palms so the IR on this camera doesn't capture the light shining on any of the palms. I think I think that's like that. That that's pretty much perpendicular. It's yeah. gonna shoot down the trail, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it. it's gonna come from this way, right? Yeah. It's gonna pass right here. So it's going to pass from here or here and walk down. Any, anything within 60 feet, okay. it'll pick up. <laughs> Uh-oh, I have to reset this one. That's okay. They're finicky. Yeah, yeah. Chris is just resetting the camera. Yeah, okay. Let me try one more time. I don't know, these are brand new and sometimes they, uh, sometimes you get what you pay for. Oh, there's life. I got it on settings. I just want to, do you care about the date and time? No. Okay, it's on video. BL88, whatever. What does that mean? No, uh, 88% battery. Okay, that's fine. Do you need to do the stick trick? I don't think so. It looks okay. like it's pretty... So we're just going to leave this one without the stick. You want the camera, you know, you don't want it shooting at the ground or right yeah, up in yeah. the air. You okay. want it... I want to catch, yeah. you know, the ground plus 12 feet up. Um, yeah. I'm actually... I know just it tie sounds... it. Yeah, yeah, just tie it to there so it doesn't... Interfere. Wind or something. Okay, perfect. You saw a countdown, 10 seconds. Yeah, I right? saw it. Okay, DL. Okay, right. Now we're just going to walk back to the boat and hopefully I don't eat it getting back on. Because this was a slippy hill coming up. You got to watch out for those thorns. He's cutting them right now. Pretty crazy tree. Be careful going down. Mm-hmm, yeah. Boots would have been the plan for this. Gotta do some Tarzan stuff. I like the 
put things in front of me. So if I slide. And I wanted to make sure I wait for Eric to get out of the way. If I fall, then I'll take him with him. Yeah. With me. Phew. Stuck on everything in the boat this time. I'm good. All right, made it to the boat successfully without breaking our necks. Just got to do it one more time after this. As we just came to this beach here, we're going to toss a line in for catfish, but we're also going to eat our lunch. What do you think? Yeah. And there it is. Tossed out a line. Now let's get some food in us and hopefully the catfish eat too. Chris got his line out there and I think lunch is still in the boat and I'll show you what we have to eat today. We just made some makeshift rod holders and this is gonna be like our Amazon lunchtime camp set up here. I'm going to sit up in the shade. Actually, you know what? Let me get something to drink, too. Yeah, I think we got some Coca-Cola in the cooler. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah. Got some Coca-Cola. There you go, Chris. That's something big. What? Thank you. Some animal just uh. crashed or... Limpo. And we have our bait soaking, and it's time for us to eat. Oh, nothing like in lunch in the Amazon jungle while fishing. And we got Amazon KFC rice and a salad. I tell you what, this chicken is way better than any KFC you've ever eaten, I guarantee it. And this is where I'm going to sign off. I need some lunch. Chris is definitely getting a bite. No, Chris got his 200 pound Lao Lao on lunch break. <laughs> we'll find out. Instead of eating lunch and watching Jeremy Wade on TV, I eat lunch and watch Chris fighting a catfish in real life. Hmm. I think I have something. Yeah? What do I have here? Just reeling in to check my bait. And I have something. Leopard. Little leopard catfish. Very cool. All right, there he is. Leopard catfish while we're eating lunch. He's definitely gonna be lunch tomorrow. There we go, fish on, fish on. Nice. Cat fishing from the beach at lunchtime. A little bit better of a fish. Really happy about this. Oh, this is awesome. How can you beat this in the Amazon jungle? Catching catfish while sitting on a river beach eating lunch. Who else could say did this? Not many. Red tail. Nice. Beautiful red tail. Not big, but awesome. Nonetheless. How cool, man. Isn't this just awesome? Yeah. Beautiful red tail. All right, let's get the hook out of them. We'll get a picture. Check that out, guys. Beautiful red tail. One of my favorite Amazon catfish. Yes. All right, buddy, let's go back to the river so you can be 100 pounds one day. All right, bud. Have a good day. Thank you. There he goes. Beautiful red tail. <laughs> awesome, man. Okay. Thank you. Probably, uh... Okay, 
there, Mr. Weed. Should I be there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Not that big if he's still on. Chris has got a little leopard just like I did before. Nice. There you go, bud. Beautiful leopard cat Chris caught from the beach. Doing pretty good. And there he goes. See you, buddy. We swam that way. I think he has it. All right, guys. I'm going to see if this catfish is here. Yep. Fish on. Nice. We are slaying it from the beach today. <laughs> Not that big. No, the red tail. Oh, cool. Is it the same one? <laughs> <laughs> right? Nice. Beautiful red tail. You want a photo with him? He's about to go in. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You got him on film. And there it was. Quick release of the red tail. You took off in a hurry. And I'm about to do swimming in the Sakiba River. It is hot. And this feels so good. Look at all the piranhas around me eating me right now. <laughs> oh, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> The, it's just a myth, piranhas will not attack you. Here I am in the water, there's certainly piranhas behind me. Nothing's happening, but it feels so good. Yes. Here's Chris going for a swim in the Sakibo River. There's just a big black caiman right over there. And here he is in the water right now. Anacondas, the Cobra Grange, a snake bigger than the anaconda. I'm going to get my gloves away because I've got to fight a monster cat. <laughs> yep, and there he is in the Sakibo River in the Amazon jungle. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> the problem is I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> there. No, the fish. Oh. There was a big giant piranha behind Chris. <laughs> so we are back to our arowana spot. Hopefully we can actually pin one this time. This wind is not gonna help. No, and there's a little rain too, I feel. Rain? Yeah. Ah. There he is. G got him on. No. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, big one. I know. There's more there, probably. Yeah, I'm on that stick. Oh, guys, it could be so aggravating. Had the fish on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. Arowana. Yes. Big one. Big one. Big one. Snag. Snag's coming up. Snag's coming up. Yes. Yes. Finally pinned one. Wow. 
Wow, yes. Yes. Finally, dude. He's not hooked good, I don't think. It's outside the mouth, maybe you can't spit it. Can you? Cut the line with the stick. That thing's beautiful too. Yes, dude, yes, finally. Finally, look at the size I got. Okay, Can you do me a favor and open up that bell? Yes, dude. On, Finally, an arowana. Let me get the hooks out so it's not dangerous anymore. Take a look at that. This is what we've been hunting for, and finally, a proper arowana. <laughs> Hell yes. So happy about this. It took a while to finally get one. Okay, let's get a picture. We're gonna let this beautiful fish go. Check that out. The arowana reminds me of the Saratoga from Australia. Look at that thing. Beautiful fish. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You good? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am pumped. Thank you. So now that we got that out of the way, let's try to get some bait for a jowl catfish. There you go. <laughs> Chris might have got bait already. It's good if it's bait. Oh, looking on him. Nice looking on him, Chris. Oh, yeah. Swallowed it. Look at his lime greens on him. He has that Florida peacock green. He's a very good looking fish. Chris with his beautiful cyclocaterate right there. Nice male, Chris. So yeah, let, let that beautiful male go. You good? All right, yeah. taking off your glove. I want to get him wet. Nice, Chris. Send that bad boy back home. There he goes. Nice, dude. Oh, right there. Payara. Payara, Chris. There you go. Chris just got a payara. Watch, 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 watch. Be careful, man. Be careful. Barely hooked. Just be careful. Here, we're going to let him deal with the business end of it. Big teeth. Very big teeth. Wait you till you see. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm, I'm okay. It's a little one, but still. Cool. Oh God! Here's Chris with his first ever payara. It's a small one, but it's such a cool fish nonetheless. Oop! Here we go. Oh, oh! Right there, it came back. Peacock. Peacock. Oh, wow! Follower. <laughs> Peacock. Oh, that's okay. That peacock had a follower, man. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. We're going to have some video for you guys today. Whew. Start the motor. We're being swarmed by bees right now. I have a lure out, but I'm reeling it in. Yep, just stay calm. They're getting thin. 
<laughs> the more you exhale, the more they come to you. Yeah. I thought this monkey bread the nest. The monkey? Yeah. You know, bread the nest and eat the, the eggs. The, mm. the bee eggs. Right. So, to play. so we just finished the lure fishing. Chris got that payara. It was hooked in the eye, so we decided to use that little payara for bait. <laughs> We stopped at like a 40 foot deep hole and now we're fishing for the Jow catfish. Let's see if we can get one. He's on oh. there. Shake, shake, shake. Tight, shake, tight. Shake. Yeah, tight. There you go. Tight, real, real. Stay tight. Nice, Chris. The plastic broke. What broke? The plastic on the handle broke. I almost, it slipped. That's why. It wasn't tight. Nice, Chris. Let's see what you got here. It's not giant. What do we have? Red tail. Little red tail. Chris mm -hmm. just got a nice little red tail. Just let him calm down, but here. <coughs> here, bring the line. That's why it was a little close. I busted my hand open on him. Let's get this little red tail for Chris. Got him. There he is, little red tail for Chris. Same size fish that we're catching all day, but that's okay. Here, <laughs> listen to that noise that they make. <laughs> that's with their fins. That neat, neat. Chris with his beautiful red tail. Lower him down for a second. Let's check out that parasite. See that parasite on him right there? They're hard to get off. They're like a little stingray a parasite thing. But a lot of times they're very hard to pull off of them. And here's that parasite that I'm talking about. Check that little thing out, like a little stingray. All right, Chris, want to get your red tail back in? Yeah. By the red tail? Huh? By the tail? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's okay. Especially in the current, he'll be okay. There he is. Yep. See you later. Nice, man. Good job. Nice Thanks. little red tail. Heck yeah. Chris is being a warrior today. He ate curry last night, and I warned him not to eat too much. And now he has the shit. I fevers and chills and stomach pains. He already had to wash his ass in the river. <laughs> I left a present on the beach. Yeah, he left a nice, nice present for the jaguars on the beach. But he's toughing it out. He's being a trooper. We're here jow fishing. Hopefully we get a jow, maybe not. Usually it happens quick, but he's being a trooper with it. Hopefully he feels better tomorrow. Good morning from Guyana. It is day four and we got up extra early to try to find Chris, his first wild monkeys. So we're gonna keep our eyes open in the trees out here to see if we find any monkeys. Up in the tree there is a mating pair of macaws right at the tip of my finger. I know it's probably hard to see in a GoPro, but I'll zoom in as best as I can right up there. Pretty cool to see. Very cool. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Arowana. Ay. That's okay. It's okay. That was fun. That was pretty cool. I cast right in front of him. <laughs> see that, guys? I saw the head weight going and I cast right in front of him. We didn't get to see any monkeys. We saw some scarlet macaws, which you just seen. We also saw some Ikaris, but they were way too high up to actually get some footage of. Right now, we're going after my Amazon nemesis, the Aymara. So we're gonna be traveling through some tight jungle creeks, as you see right here. And this is 
where the Aymara live. That is one fish that I'm absolutely terrified of. I have a scar right here on my leg from an Aymara bite. I am terrified of these fish. They are the true ripper monsters of the Amazon. just got to the Aymara spot and basically we are looking for bubble trails of the Aymara and we're gonna be casting near some nasty fallen trees and branches hopefully we can pull one off as we're making our first attempt here to catch these things a lot of times I remember fishing straight up and down for these things you can leave your bail open Open. Here's no current, so you can leave it open. Because you want to be able to stop them right away. He's gonna, he's gonna go to his spot, you know. Snag city, maybe. As Chris might have a Aymara on. there he's in he went home he went to his i think he's there though. yeah he went into the snag Did this keep it tight you want me to reel him yeah reel him yeah oh i got one i got one i got one yes i got one guys that's crazy <laughs> I can't believe that Chris had it bite and I go to reel in mine and he's there. Big Aymara, big Aymara, big Aymara. I know, I know. Big Aymara, guys, check that out. That is the fish that I am scared of right there. The Aymara. Just watch. I know, very dangerous. I know, I know. Believe me, it's maybe better. I don't know. It's scary. These fish are so scary. Look at that, Curse That's the Aymara. I just don't want him to jump in my face. Those grips have a scale on them. Guys, this is the Aymara. This is the fish that bit me the last time I was in Guyana just jumped out of the water and grabbed my leg. This is it. Yeah, yeah. You just tell me when you're ready. Oh, guys, I can't believe it. Chris had a bite. I went to reel mine in and there he is. Yeah, you gotta be so careful with this fish, guys. I am terrified. I am terrified of this fish. I am so terrified. Get your phone. Yeah, yeah, I'm still snagged up. Loose? What is there? Yeah, I'm terrified of that fish, but <laughs> you want the hook out first? Or no? No, you got the hole in the press. Shake Yeah. You have your camera, Chris. Just hold this very tight. Okay. Okay, that's a big one. Yes. Yeah. Twenty-five pounds, guys. It's 25. 
that's not focusing. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, I'm scared of this thing. Right. I got a couple. Good ones? Yeah. Make sure they're good. They are. Okay. Okay. Do you want to get the hook out? Wow. Guys, there it is, the Aymara. That is my Amazon nemesis. This is the fish that I am terrified of. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Very scary fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you want to cut the wire. Okay. That's the bait. Yeah. yeah. That's the bait we used to catch them. This is the fish that bit me on the leg last time I was in Guyana. That's a demon. Wow, look at their eyes, Chris. Unbelievable. You see this? It's a skin. Yeah. Look at that. He's going to pull back the sheath. See those teeth, guys? That's a dangerous fish. Very dangerous fish. This is the seal. Same on the bottom, he sang. Ooh, man, that fish makes me scared. Okay, I guess let's get him back in so no one gets hurt. Wow. It's open. goes guys see you later buddy thank you and he's off wow wow thank you have, you have a luck to be <laughs> i can't believe that <sighs> there it was the river demon of guyana the aymara wait check 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 if it's a if you have his aymara check with your finger I don't think it's as big as the other one, but it's... You don't know. Is that it? I feel like... Dump, 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 dump. All right, Chris probably has an Aymara. Yeah. Keep tight, keep tight. He's in stuff. He's out of it now. Keep tight. Keep it up. 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 Take your drag. Take your drag, boy. Take your shit. Take your drag. Oh, it brought you into the wood. He was in it the whole time. It was rubbing. He's probably still there. Then when he took the line, I popped him out and he went right into it. So Chris probably has an Aymara, but but he thinks it's rubbing against wood. So we're just paddling out to the middle, try to make it a straight up and down battle. There we go. Oh. Watch, watch, Chris. You're wrapped all around. See there? No, right? No. Oh, catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Little catfish. That answers my question. Is there catfish? <laughs> Let's see. He's probably... Here, bring him over. Chris just got this little catfish. What do you call this one? We call this um, Amori. Yeah, Amori? Yeah. We call it Boots. A what? Boots. Boots. Yeah, you call Amori and Boots. That's just like night thing. Mm. It looks like a channel catfish, doesn't say, it? It looks, it like, looks a like a catfish from home. <laughs> right. Let's see if we get the hook out. How big, how big do they get? That's big? Yeah, that's big already. Sounds like a bullhead. Yeah. He probably has some nasty spawn. Here's Chris with his little kitty cat, the bullhead of the Amazon. <laughs> Oh, 
In the wood. In wood. In wood. He's already in the wood. As soon as they strike in wood. He's on it? He's in wood. No, I don't feel him. He's in wood. Our guide was telling us about some new animals or strange animals that live here in Guyana. The one that has my interest is what is up in the mountains here? We have many dangerous species in the mountains. Um, is there a new species of animal like a dinosaur in a mountain? Yes, just like a dinosaur. Just like a dinosaur? Yes. Do they scare you? Yeah. So they're dangerous. It's dangerous. They're dangerous. Can't go you alone in the mountain. And then we were also talking about there's a creature in the jungle that changes, right? Yes. And yeah. what do you call that one? A jumbie. A jumbie. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a jumbie, tall elk, and like animal, tiger. Most of the storm tiger are anteater and mm. some different people. You could see their face. Okay. So, so like a shapeshifter, yes, a skinwalker. Yes, something like that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's many stories of shapeshifters, skinwalkers with native tribes around the world. One of them being the Navajo in Utah. These things could be a goat, uh, it could be a human, it could turn into a cat. And it's just ironic that there's stories like this all around the world. And these well, people never met each other. So how is the same story around the world like that? You know, I just find that weird yeah. that you say the same thing as people in North America. Yeah. Now, is there is there like an ape man in the yeah. jungle? Yeah, it's like an ape. Like an ape? Yeah. But he's short, right? Yeah, he's short. A it's short. He's a, a human being, but he have no hair and he's tough. It's a little man with a big, big muscle. He's a shark, little man. Okay. He will, he will hit the mora trees. If it's if it's vex, it, yeah. he's got vex, and he just hit the big mora tree. You just hear it, like like a big song. You see coming at the back of you, so you got to you got to be scared with him. Okay, and he's dangerous. Dangerous. Have you known anyone that's seen them? But I, uh, my 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 friend tell mm. me tell me how uh, oh, he hear a thing huh, like a like a man yeah. in the bush, and he gotta check the. The little man is done diary. Mm. And he's, he gets so frightened. He get, so he left the man right there. And I don't know what happened to him. Was something was he tiger must he catch him. Right. He go back to see him, but he not see the, the um the little guy. So the other day we were catfishing, we heard what sounded like a gunshot, a shotgun go off. And do you think what what do you think it was, that sound? Mm. There's an anaconda. Anaconda, yeah. but is it a yes. normal anaconda? There's a big one. Big like a, like the bucket size. Okay. So it's, the bigger one fire more hard more than this um, thing. Okay, so a, it lives in the water. Yeah, you're saying? Yeah, in the water and wait for something to and come and drink water. Like any animals, are you go by um, animals landing and wait for. It. Come and drink water. Like, well, uh, tapir. Mm. Tapir is the most. He just come and bathe and swim, swim in the river. And then they go in that night, but to catch you. Interesting. Yeah. And how long does the snake get? You think? Like I see, a, I see a long one, like twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet yeah. or more. Yeah, more. The big one, we have more, like thirty feet. Thirty feet. Well, possibly this larger snake is an anaconda that people don't realize how big that anacondas could be. Or maybe it's a very similar species to an anaconda that looks similar, that grows larger. A very large, old anaconda, or it could be a new species of snake. And one last one. Now, there's a story that there's a famous TV show called River Monsters with Jeremy Wade, and there was an episode of him in Guyana and he was talking about the water mama and he thought it was possibly the arapaima. What do you think the water mama is? The water mama now 
It's a low low. It's a low low. low, low. Yeah, low low. It's a stone tall low low. The water mama now just go under the water and come out in Brazil. Mm. And turn a girl or a woman, a, a girl or a man. Yeah. So he will take, if the water mama is a man, he will take a girl with him. The girl now take a man from the arm, you know, carry him to, but never see them. But you never see them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Um, there's a lot of stories out here in the jungle and there's definitely creatures that we do not know about that live here. You have to remember only 1% of the jungle here in Guyana has ever been researched and explored. There's many animals uh, like monkeys, maybe a dinosaur in a mountain or an ape man that possibly live in these jungles out here. Thank you, very interesting. We're gonna get back to fishing. So we're going to head out of this spot. It's getting, uh, the sun's getting real high in the sky and the Aymara, these wolf fish, do not like to eat during the middle of the day. They retreat into structure like you see over there, all those wood piles into the holes deep down. Well, we're gonna go back to the lodge. We're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna go to a place called the Monkey Pond that has arapaima. It's not exactly the best spot to fish for arapaima here, but we have a shot of catching them. Get back to you a little later. We just made it to the monkey pond or the arapaima pond. And this brings back, this is deja vu. I remember going into here with John years ago. This is the realm of the almighty arapaima. Let's see if we can manage to get one. It is morning five here in Guyana, and apparently we're going Arapaima fishing, so we're a little late, a little miscommunication there. So we're gonna be rushing to the Arapaima ponds and hopefully we can pull one off.
we go arapaima fishing we do need to get a little bait so let's see you pull off a little butterfly peacock or something There you go. Oh. No. Oh. Came at us. It's decent. We got our first fish here. Nice Paul peacock. Big peacock, huh? No, you got it in the mouth. Real big. Barely hooked. Wash it, travel. I know. <laughs> oh! There you go. Uh, he came back to it. Good. Good oh, right here. Me too. Right at you. Oh, it's off. No. Oh. You spit it too? Yeah. Dude, it came right at the boat and spit it. I couldn't even reel the slime thing. There should be more. Keep on casting. I can't believe that. Oh, are you? Good, good. Oh. oh. I know, I know. Perfect bait for that Arpaima. Oh, look, they're right here. Every time I get to the boat, they're going for it. Run over on the boat. No, they're not doing it. Don't stop casting, don't stop casting. We need this, we need the peacocks. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Mommy, bring them here. You have the pliers still? Okay. Yes, thank God. Ah, I wanted to get in that little pocket. There's probably snags in there, so be careful. Oop. You try wiggling it. Wiggle, lift your rod tip, and wiggle gently. Like this, like there, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, good, good. I a fish. Gently, Swing. gently, gently, gently. Yes, as we're starting to get some bait here, finally. Good, good, good. Good job, man. <laughs> and it is time to go into the lair of the almighty Arapaima. We are in the Arapaima's lair. We're just keeping our eyes open for them coming up on the surface.
Fish on. Fish on. I don't want it too tight. Fish on. I think I got an arapaima. Yes, arapaima. He's coming right at the boat. Just be very careful. We have an arapaima right here. He doesn't even know he's hooked. He has no idea he's hooked. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. He's going to the engine. You just put your hands on. They come at the back. Huh? They take it slowly. Yeah, slowly. You make it go up, come up, come up there. Yeah. There's an arapaima here. I really don't think this fish even knows what's going on. It's not, I don't know if it's a mega mega, but he doesn't even know what's happened. <laughs> Can't believe I have an arapaima walking out like a dog somewhere. He's at the surface. See the wake? <sighs> oh, wow. <sighs> Big head shake. Okay. Yeah, just big head shakes. He's coming right at the boat. 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 He's right here. No, 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 no. Okay. You good? Okay. Big head shakes. And she keeps on crapping out. Every time it does that, it comes right to the boat. Big head shake. <laughs> right in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. When the arapaima is on my line, it's doing that. He's right here. He's gonna jump right over here. He's gonna jump. Where do I go? Nowhere. He's gonna jump. There he is. Look at that, guys. Arapaima. Can you paddle over? Can you paddle over? No, it's gonna be faster than with the engine right now. God. <laughs> Please, Sam. He's gonna come up again. He's gonna come up again. He's coming up again. He's gulping air, okay. He's not, definitely not the size of the one I caught last time, but it's gonna go nuts. Big head shakes. Big head shakes. As long as I'm not up to my face, I don't care, I'll stand. Big head shake. Yeah, I know, but it's not that far. The leader's right here. He's right here. He's right next to the boat. Oh, you oh, side with the bushes. Bushes coming up. God, this is where it's gonna happen. Either it's gonna happen or I'm gonna lose him right here. He's gonna see those bushes and he's gonna wanna be in them. Yep. It's the camera, it's okay, it's in the boat. He's going to the bushes, man. He's going to these bushes. I'm right here with him, but. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> There's the Arapaima, guys. Right there. Chris, sort of get a phone out too. No. You just got to come up here. I'm trying to, man. I got this giant fish. You have to come up. Come up here. Come up here. Yes. Yes. Here, hold the rod. Let me get in. Oh, my gosh.
And then the water with the air pipe I'm trying to get him out, man. You look like you dragged. It's tight. Drag's tight. Being yanked in by the air pilot. I'm slipping. It's tightened. It's all the way tight. I have 72 pounds of drag on. Wow. I knew this was going to be a show in here. I knew it. Um, God. <sighs> We're going to slide in. Huh? Wait. Yeah, I got smashed in the face the last time, real bad. I'm trying, I'm in flipping. Here's our Pima. I got the one. I got the one. I know. I want to die. Yes. Yeah, come hold him. Hold him like this. Yeah. I got him. Go back to the head. Come with. Okay. Got him. Here's Sarah Pimey. I can't even talk. Here's Sarah Pimey. Yes. Finally landed one. This is why we traveled across half the world for this fish here. Yeah. This is a river monster. We're going to get the hook out. Yeah. That's the Sarah Pima. Unbelievable. I don't want to take him out too long. This fish fought, so we want to make sure he goes back healthy. Unbelievable. Here it is. I did it again. Oh man, I'm just out of breath. I'm in deep water. I'm cutting my leg. I'm all beat up. I'm just gonna let this fish relax for a second. Oh, I can't believe we did it again. So gotta get Chris one now. I'm just I can't even I don't even know what to say right now. I have an hour pie on my hand. That's all I have to say. Just check this out. This is the river monster here in Guyana. Unbelievable. One more quick look by the head. E. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. Arapaima. Yes, we did it again. Woo. And here I am, chest deep in Essequibo. All right. Hope my reel still works. Let me put the rod up here first. You want to grab on me or something? Or you can get up that way. Okay, you got your flip flops? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna watch Eric fall into the boat. Yes. We have arrived to the Arapaima grounds. Check this out. Yeah. Now we're going to have to carry the boat right the lunker line.
swing. Yeah. Just in case he wants to go. It's a nice air climb. Just good thing that wasn't an arrow one. <laughs> Even had us. What's that? I saw the hook right here. <laughs> this one's bigger than the last than my one I got last time for sure. Eric got a real big one. Is that red dot beeping? Yeah. Caught that on video. <laughs> How are we gonna go about uh taking a picture? How do you go about landing them? Yeah. Green leader, you don't have green leader. No, nah, he's got someone else's leader on there. Yeah, on mine earlier. Yeah, it's the one that I had on earlier. It's, it's my leader from the, remember the first one that broke off? Left him run, 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 run. We'll know by the hook. Yeah. Oh, maybe that hook. <laughs> Get our hook back. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see, I thought, I thought mine was in the corner, maybe. It's the green one from when I left him run, run, run. I just don't want to reel that splice up to the tip because that's the weakest point. Wow, this is a giant. Look at the size of them. Wow. 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 Come on, buddy, we're gonna release you. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, that's it, you know. He's getting there. He's getting tired a little bit. A little bit. He didn't jump, at least, there. One, two, three. He's not in the back yet, but she starts. Yeah. <laughs> you can do your one, two, two. Again. One, two, three. <laughs> we had no caboose. No. One, 
Wait, 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 there's the moose isn't ready. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that didn't work. Ugh. Wow. Can't believe this. <laughs> that was a nice run there. <laughs> One, two, three. So close. One, two, three. It's like metal, very tight. It's tight. Strike. Strike. Yes. Yes, Chris. Big fish. Yes. Just kneel down if you have to kneel down. Just stay tight to it. Stay tight to this fish. It's bigger than mine. It's my. It's, it's the size of my first one. Those head shakes, man. Yep. Yes, Chris. Yes. He's gonna jump. Yes. Look at the size of that one. No. Oh. oh. He won't come back, right? He's not gonna come back for that. You guys saw that. He had like a 300 pound arapaima on him. Oh. Unfortunately, the arapaima came off. But there's more in here willing to eat. Chris will get one. Chris might have his next shot at the Arapaima. Is it big? Oh, my. Thank you, Jackson. It's tight. Hook it hard now. Okay, tighten and drag. Tighten and drag now. There you go, Chris. Real, real, real. Keep on reeling, keep on reeling, keep on reeling. Real. Keep on reeling. Just keep on reeling, buddy. Keep tight to him. That's all you gotta do, stay tight. Stay tight, you got it, man. Stay tight. Just don't even worry about lifting up, just stay tight. Just keep on reeling, keep on reeling. You got it, buddy, you got it, Chris. Just keep reeling. You got him, man. He's pinned, he's not going anywhere, I promise you. You got him, you got an air pie, my Chris. You got him, buddy. You got this fish. What do you say? He would jump three times before he's tired. No, try not to have slack when he jumps, he's saying. You got him, buddy. You got your air prime, I promise you, you have him. 
Yeah. He okay. said. Too close anyway. You got to give it jump. 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 No, 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 don't. Jump in the Yes, Chris. Don't, 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 don't reel, don't reel, don't reel. He was jumping the boat. He was jumping the boat. Stay tight. Yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Back up, back up, back up. Okay. Take you arm. No, no. What? Go arm then. What? You drag. Don't make it come too close, the boat. Let go more of you. Lighten it up a little bit. Okay. 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 Okay, you gotta put your drag and your arm. Then you got to move to handle that. Maybe two loops or no? Is huh? it good? Drag's okay? Yeah, you got to take your drag back. Go way close to the boat so you don't jump. He would jump right in and hurt us. Right? Yep. We're going to get to a spot to land the fish. That's a big one. Yeah, it's a very big one. Drag is it an arapaima? Oh, it's an arapaima. Yeah. What do you think it is? No, a piranha? A oh, yeah. Right. It's definitely no piranha. I'll tell you that. One jump. Yeah. I want to jump. You got to jump three times before he tired. Mine jumped in the bushes the third time. <laughs> All right, he's gonna come up. He's gonna jump. Keep tight. Nice, dude. Look at that. I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> Look at that. It's a landed fish. It's caught. It's to the boat. But now we just need that picture. Very nice, buddy. Very nice. I'm so happy for you, Chris. River monster. I'm so jittery right now. Oh my god. Chris has got the Sarah Pima. We're just keeping him near, but not too close. And we're going to a spot to land him. Chris is gonna have to jump into that Sakibo with this river monster. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, laugh, cry. <sighs> it's so damn hot, I could use a bath. Tighten him? No, no, nope, just keep him. We're just moving good. Yeah, we're moving. He, we're walking a dog right now. We're walking a big dog. <laughs> we're walking a big dog. We got a little ways to go, but we'll get there. Good job, man. I don't know what I was so nervous about. That wasn't too bad. It's not too bad. Chris has his arapaima here. Yes. So happy for him. <laughs> He's paddling to his spot. Right over there where I landed mine. Air Pima might come up again. Should I reel down on a little bit? You can keep him where he's at right now. Yeah, that's fine what you're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna come up. There's the tail, the Air Pima. Look at that, that red tail. All of this just gets me going. This is why we come across the world. There it is. This is Chris's biggest fish. By far, by far. Whew. This isn't no bluefish. We're largemouth. <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy for you. This took forever. I thought the spot might have been blown. They weren't eating. They weren't coming up as much anymore. Just took patience and perseverance. And we got them. Coming up, coming up. Yes, that is amazing. Huh? He's right here. He's still strong. What do you think, Chris? Is he as strong as before? He's weaker, but he's right now. I'm I'm putting some muscle into him. <laughs> Very heavy, 200. He's not taking. Drag. 250, maybe. Here he comes to the top again. Yes. His head shakes are getting weaker. Yes. Look at that, Chris. It's getting tired. Coming to the car now. Reel it up, reel it up. Farther? Reel up, reel it up, yeah. Farther. Yeah, good like that. Do not make his head come out of the water. Keep his head in. As That's much as you can. I know, I know, I know. Just control him. Try to control him. Walk the dog. Don't want the head come out from the water. Alright, just tell me what... Don't want to go down. So keep him just under the water, he's basically saying. Yeah, like that. No. He's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know what to do. You're, you're fine, Chris. He's tired. He's on this side now. Well, put it, put it this side, this side, this side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Now where does he go? Now where does he go? Now you're coming back here Where's with the, the fish. fish. Yeah. Come up this way with the here. Fish. Okay. Go ahead, Chris. I gotta go. Go. What do I do now? Drag, get in. Jump get in. in. Get in. There you go. Yes. Where do I go? Here, do pull I, the string I, around so it doesn't break on a tree. Yes, Chris. I don't know what to do with a fish like this. There's Chris with his giant arapaima. Slack on the line. Yeah. Open or close? Open. You can leave it open. Put the put the rod up there on the ground. Okay, okay, okay. There's Chris with his arapaima. Yes. How do I hold this thing? Just hold it underneath here. Just be careful of the head. I know, I know, I don't want it near me. You have to pick it up a little bit. Is he gonna shake? He might. Just be careful. Yes. I'm getting pictures of you, man. Okay. There it is, guys. Landed arapaima, like 200 something pounds. Oh, do you have the pliers, pliers? Where are they? On the deck. On the deck. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. But you got him, you got him? No. I don't want to throw them Where's the line? Where's the line? They're damaged from cutting the water. We okay. There it is. Arapaima. We got them. We got them. All right. Thank you. <laughs> it was a struggle, but we got him, right? So, mission accomplished. Thank you. Let's try to gather everything, guys. That was a crazy battle. Everyone's probably tired. Chris, they have both your Crocs? Uh, yeah. They okay. Float, I found out. Yeah, they do. All right. We did it. River Monster is caught. I'm a little shaky. <laughs> Job. Chris, how's that? That was the most exciting fish I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> Hands down, still shaking. There you go, man. I could just about cry, man. I could just about cry. Chris finally got his river monster, his biggest fish of his life. In there, I was so scared. <laughs> All thanks to this guy right here. All thanks to his guidance. What a great guide. You have to come check out Pier Reba Lodge. Make sure you contact Navin Roperin www.adventureguianas.com. I'll leave the link down in the description. What a place to be. You have to come catch a river monster. Thought this camera broke. The camera wasn't turning on for a minute there. I had to install like two different batteries for finally to come back to life. So the camera got knocked off by Chris, the Arapaima and tree branches. And uh, I thought it was broke. Hopefully we got all that footage. I'm pretty sure we did. I think it froze up once the camera hit the deck, but I had my chest camera. Chris had his chest camera. We we're going to a rock to eat lunch because we were both pretty exhausted. So we're pulling up to the Arapaima camp. They didn't quite have this set up yet for us. So Navin is actually here with a couple other guides setting up the camp. We are not staying here. We're just coming here for lunch, but this is Novin's Arapaima camp. You could have the option to stay here the night uh, while you fish for your mega river monsters, your Arapaimas. And I could see them setting up stuff in here right now. And we're gonna get off and have lunch here. Here's Arapaima camp. We're gonna sit here and have lunch. Novin is back here right now setting up the camp. We won't be staying here though, but he's back here building camp a primitive camp. Let's check out what they're doing here. So this is the Arapaima camp that he's setting up. We did it. Hi, hello, Eric. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, we're here trying to get things organized. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. Nice primitive camp, beautiful rock here. Yeah, it's a, right. lovely, it's a lovely place, you know, the mouth of the, um, one of the, one of the many lakes. So it's an ideal location for um, our camp. Basically, it's close to the, um, all the different lakes and the lagoons. So um, you come, you spend a couple of nights here and you can access them very early in the morning and, and late in, up to late fish, late into the evening. In addition, there, there are quite a few um, catfish spots as well, you know, some deep pools close by. 
So it's all, you know, fits in together basically. Perfect. And man, I'll tell you what, you definitely want to come here because right over there is the lair of the Arapaima. All thanks to Navin. Great guy. All right. Make sure shot that you guys are, uh, you know, yeah, you made it. Heck yeah. All right, time for some lunch. We'll talk to you later. We are now setting up for some Zhao catfish. Uh, we caught some little peacock bass that we're going to use for bait. And hopefully we can end this amazing day with those arapaima with a nice big old Zhao. Small. Small. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. All right, guys. Got one on. Maybe it's a little bit bigger than what I thought. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Be a jowl, be a jowl. No, leopard. Little little leopard catfish, alright. Oh, yeah. Powerful little catfish, huh? <laughs> Real in, Chris. I'm snack. Oh. Caught the bottom of the river. <laughs> nice leopard, chunky little guy. Pretty fat. We're just gonna let him go, right? Yeah. Or do you want to keep him? It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can take it for them. Okay, so we're gonna keep this one for dinner. Nice. Yeah. Let's see if we can get our jow. Yeah. Oh, he's in a rock now. Should I reel in or keep it? I don't think he's there anymore. Strike, I said, just in case. Yeah. Well, this fish is rocked up. I don't think he's there. Catfish one, me zero. It's not as big as I thought. Spicy little red tail cat. It's going nuts. Let him show out for a second. This is like, that's my favorite cat this year. I love the red tails. They're pretty, they make cool sounds. And I'm gonna grab this thing by the tail once it chills out. This is that sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. And there he is right there. Red tail cat. Silly little catfish. All that weird sound that they make. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> You want to pick him up? Sure. Under the fins? Got him? Okay. There's Chris with his pretty little red tail. And we're just going to let him go so he can get about 100 pounds bigger. See you, bud. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> There's a giant river otter over there, guys. Look at this. That's so cool. Giant river otter. <laughs> Very dangerous, right? 
Yeah, your pot lid. You take your pot lid. Yeah. <laughs> Another very dangerous. Big teeth. Ah, uh, yes. That's pretty yes. cool. Like the fish, the fish dogs. <laughs> <That's> a... Yeah. <laughs> That's He's coming. That's what I saw. Yeah. And as soon as I looked at it, it went underwater. That was pretty crazy. He just called over a giant river otter, which is an endangered species in the rest of the world. Wow. At least we got a fish on. Aye. Not that big though. Oh, Suri, Suribum. Yes, Suribum. Dangerous fish, the spines. Gotta be careful with this fish. I was stuck by the one that I caught last time and it hurt like hell. Oh yes, shovel nose, tiger shovel nose. Tiger yeah, shovel nose. Yeah, I got stuck here. Yeah, I hurt for the whole day. Let's let him grunt away. Yes, I got a shovel nose. All right, check out. Check out this fish. Look how pretty that fish is. Oh yeah. Whew, another species. All right. I'm definitely gonna use grips for this fish. Um, do you have the, the metal. better boga? Yeah. That's yes, a shovel nose. Yes, landed. Okay. How much? Ten pound. There's the tiger shovel nose or the cerebome. Check how beautiful this fish is. You got the parasites on it. You got parasites? One last look. The tiger shovel nose or the cerebome. We're just gonna let them go here without getting stuck. Because these things will hurt you with their spines. Give them a second. There he goes. We just got back to the lodge. What a day day five was. We started off by catching some peacock bass for bait. We ended up both getting mega arapaimas. Chris being the biggest one, which I'm so happy about. And we ended it, topped it off with a couple little catfish. I even got my tiger cerebum, which I was really looking forward to catching. And we're gonna see you tomorrow morning, day six. It is morning six and we're gonna do some Arowana and peacock fishing and then probably get on some catfish, see if we can knock off a chow and maybe a bigger lalo. So let's get to it. We're gonna try for some arowana. Just make the cast here. Ah, oh, yeah, here he is. Drags loose. What is it, Bicuda? No, it's Arowana. Yeah. Little one. Nice. Got an Arowana on the Whopper Plopper. It drags super loose for some reason. Go ahead, cast up ahead there. All right. First fish of the day, small Arowana. Beautiful fish. Make sure he's calm. There he is there. Beautiful arowana on the whopper plopper. One more look at this beautiful arowana. Gorgeous fish. Look at that mouth. Meant for top water eating. They eat bats and birds and anything that falls out of the bushes. Let's keep him in the current. Give him a second and we're going to let him go. Okay. 
See you, buddy. Yes, arowana. As we're setting up for some lao lao, our guy here just got a rock from the shoreline that he tied on this rope here as our anchor. We're not going to the bank for these. We're gonna drop our bait in a deep hole out here for these big catfish. Let's see if we can manage to pull a giant lao lao off. Chris is going to make his cast for the lao lao. All right, let's see what I can do here. All right, Lalo, where are you at? Deep. Very deep. Oh, so the bottle's afloat for the anchor. Yeah, because quick release, big yeah. la just like tuna fishing. Just like what they do for giant bluefin, because we're going to have to go with it. You're going to be gone. I'll take all that line off your reel right there. There you go. It's heavy. Colette. He's thinking Colette. Cool. If you can, try to keep them on this side. This side? Yeah, this side, because the rope is over here. It's heavy. He thinks Colette serve him. All right. So far, we've been plagued with just bites and quick runoffs and piranhas. So hopefully, this is actually something legitimate this time. Guides thinking maybe Tiger Surrey. Oh no, red tail. Nice red tail. There you go. Red tail. Here I'm going. Oh, the dog. Oh. That scared me, guys. I thought the hook was about to fly out. All right. Progress. Not the water mama or the lao lao but one of my favorite catfish in Guyana, the red tail. I don't know if you guys could hear that. He's making that clicking sound with his fins. Sounds like a little squeak. Definitely the most beautiful catfish here in Guyana. Hmm. Making him fart. <laughs> Sounds like Chris after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like me on day three. Yeah. All right. He's tired enough? He seems like he's pretty tired. You want him? There he is right there. Beautiful red tail. There's Chris's beautiful red tail. Just took a poop all over Chris's seat. <laughs> all right, let's get him back in. Aim him. Which way is the current going? So aim his head that way. There he is. All right, it's finally got something on here. But I have a feeling it's a piranha. I have a feeling it's a piranha. The way it's fighting, it's bump, 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 up and down. That's right. A little extra bait, and I do want to bring some jaws home for myself, too. This is definitely piranha. Nice big piranha, and I'll take the jaws home. And check out that beast of a fish there. Nasty little fish. It's this spot we got plagued by big black piranhas. They were literally stacked up down there. I feel like there was like from the bottom, the first 10 feet off the bottom were all black piranhas. 
Chris managed a decent little red tail. Uh, we kept two piranhas. I'm going to keep a set of jaws. Chris is going to keep a set of jaws. And it gives us extra bait throughout the day here. We're probably going to go find another catfish hole. Get back to you a little later. Starting to get a bite here. Hopefully it's something significant. Just going to wait until... I'm sure that he has it all the way. He's swimming this way. Yeah, swimming this way. Wow, big lao lao. That was a lao lao. I should stay, right? That was a lao lao. Yeah. Holy crap, I think it was near structure and the braid. God, guys. I'm pretty sure that was the Lao Lao, the water mama. And what happened there was he started, yeah, see, up high. <sighs> I think what happened was my braid was on some structure and the water mama snapped me off on it. Man, what a heartbreak, waiting so long for this bite like that. Time to retie. Right? I did okay. Yes, I did okay. No, no. Come out. Come on. Come back. No bait. Yeah, you come back. It's a big one here. I know. But I did okay there. Literally have no luck today, right? Fishing, but every day is fishing, but no luck. I know, I know. You're good, you're good. All right, just had a really good strike from a Jow. Hooked him for like a second, but just didn't bury that hook into his mouth. I'm determined to land a big catfish today. It's gonna happen. There he is, fish on. Fish on. Yeah, yeah. This is the jow, I think, guys. Finally sunk a hook into him. Damn you, get out of there. He's in that rock. Get out, I got him out. Oh, hey, hey, hey. He's in that rock. I'm getting him out. I'm getting him out. He's not going into that damn rock. You're not going in there. No, you're not. No, you don't. You're gonna pull me off this damn boat before you go back in there. I got him up. I got him up. Oh, it's a leopard. Oh, hoping it was a big jow. It's a big leopard though. Just happy to catch a fish. Gonna have to retie a leader. I can see that already. Man, just a big leopard. All right. Oh. It's a start, it's a fish. Better than what we have been doing here. But it's not the jowl. Still looking for that 100 pound plus jowl. Just letting him chill on side of the boat, let him tire out, but she seems pretty tired because I manhandled that thing. There's a lot of big rock. <coughs> huh? Yeah. There he is, big old leopard cat. You gonna let him go? I don't care. I don't care, whatever you want. Yeah. All right, there he goes. See you, leopard. We're gonna have to retie because this 100 pound mono was rubbing up against that rock down there. So, you definitely don't want to hook into a big jowl to have him to just break off. That's a big fish. That's the jowl. 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 No. I don't know what that sound is. That's the jowl. 
That's him. That's him. That's him. I got you this time. I don't know what that sound is. My real breaking? I don't know. I gotta look at it when I'm done. We gotta catch this fish. I don't know what's going on. That's the gel. Pretty sure that's him. I got you this time, you bastard. Yes, Jow! Not? Yes! Finally, Jow! This is what I've been targeting. Barely got him, too. Phew! That's him. That's not the Mega Monster Jow that I want, but it's a Jow. That barely got him in a lip. <laughs> there he is. Jow Catfish, the Bulldog of the Amazon, right there. Yes! Finally, we just got to get him over here. That's a nice flat area back there. We're just bringing him to this flatter rock over there. I can get him out for a nice picture. Finally, I got you. I told you I wasn't letting you get away this time. My reel or rod was making a weird sound fighting this jow. I don't know what's going on at the look into that as soon as we're done here come on come back Joe yeah yeah all right there he is Joe I got you I got you Chris Chris is gonna get a picture of me with this Joe I think what we're gonna do for a picture is right up yeah. <clears throat> you take a video? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you just make sure he's not going to. You can put him. Oh. Hold your foot. Watch the, 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 the what? The breeze wrap around. You want to do like this? Yeah, it's just. Be careful. Be careful, he's boring your belly. You're going to make one. Finally got this beautiful jow catfish. This is what I was searching for. I do want one double or triple this size, but I'll take it. If this is all I get this trip, I'm happy with this fish. What an amazing catfish. The bulldog of the Essequibo River. We're gonna get this fish back in. All right. I'm gonna just slide down. I know it, buddy. I know. I'm just gonna slide down now. <laughs> My ass is on fire. And there he goes, under the boat. Yes, finally, <laughs> finally got him. We're gonna take the boat for a ride real quick. Ride, it's taking a siesta in the trees. So we're gonna keep on catfishing. Let's go, Chris. All right, let's do this. These are. Doesn't feel too terribly big. I've been sitting here a while, almost falling asleep. I don't know what this is. What do we got? Red tail. <laughs> Little red tail. Okay. Little red tail cat. Nice, okay. Let him calm down a little bit. I don't mind getting wet. These things have these little parasites all over them. They're like little stingrays. Wow, he's covered in them. He's absolutely covered. And they've been just about all this size, this strip. And only a couple of them have been bigger than this, really. You done, bud? I think you're ready. And with these guys, I just kind of grab them by the tail. Got them. <coughs> there he is. Little red tail cat. See these little parasites? 
walking all over him like little stingrays almost funny isn't it they're always covered in them all right let's get the hook out and send them home all right bud i'm gonna send you back thank you see ya <laughs> all right let's get a new piece of bait on yeah. and we'll we're gonna stay or move and we're gonna move probably right yeah. not many bites yeah. we're gonna move on to another spot There's one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. sitting right there. You didn't uh, see it? Yeah. Just keep your rod tip up. Keep your rod tip up. Nice, Chris. It's a good one. Keep them right there. Keep them right there. Okay, Chris. Nice. Nice, Chris. Decent arowana, too. Real decent arowana. The dragonfish of Esquivo. No. Got him. Thank you. Yep. All right, Chris, check that out. Chris just got this big arowana. Let's get the plopper out of its mouth. Chris says this beautiful arowana. He's gonna let it go. Probably go to that side because you have the heavy rods there. And just kind of hold them. Yeah, hold them tail and mouth. Make sure the head's in the water. And just give them a second to revive there. Head in the water. Yeah, there you go. There it is. There's the dragonfish of the Esquivo. Nice job, Chris. First arowana <laughs> ever, huh? Yeah. Oh, Good yeah. job. I got some really cool pictures for you. I could really whip this thing if I wanted to. Oh. Piranha, right? Piranha. Mm. Oop. <laughs> now I'll catch an arowana. What did you do? My rod fell apart. This is when I would get the biggest arowana of my life, too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. yes Thank you. Thank you. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice. Arowana. Very nice little arowana. Yes, what can do? All right, guys, these are wanna really like these whopper ploppers. This is a little guy, still pretty cool. Just trying to keep him in the water so he doesn't jump in with this whopper plopper. Really cool. Second arowana today. Chris is trying for its friend that's still there. There's probably several of them. So there's the arowana. I unfortunately hooked him in the eye though, ouch. I got the whopper plopper out. The arowana should be okay. Here's a nice look at the dragonfish of the Essequibo. We're gonna get him right back in. Thank you, bud. Beautiful fish. Just like the Saratoga in Australia. We're gonna make sure this fish is okay before we let it go. Let me get through the filming part of it. Let me make sure he's upright. All right, so he's swimming away. As I felt bad, I hooked him right in the eye socket back treble hook all three hooks went in but he swam off just fine i didn't tear out his eye he should be okay <laughs> yeah mine too that's right that's right i got oh i got caught on that back one go ahead cast in there cast in there good good yes Ooh. yes yeah, rod one. tip up rod tip up big one good nice chris 
peacock? Yeah. Really? Nice. Big. It's a big one. It's a big peacock. Nice, Chris. I'm all jammed up in the tree branch. I made a bad cast, but this is more important. Big one. Nice, Chris. Yes. Yes. Good job. Nice Wanna big male. Let's just get the fish in first. Yeah, do that. You good? I don't know. He has it in such a way I got him now. I got him now. Way to go. <laughs> Dude, check out that peacock Chris just got. That's a slob. <laughs> That's like what? Nine pounds? Ten pounds? Nine or ten pounds? Try it? Yeah. yeah. Once he gets the hooks out, I'll hold it with this for the photo. Because we're taking a photo of this one. <laughs> Chris got this big slob male peacock bass, Cichlocotarati. He's all beat up from piranhas. See all that? Oh, all yeah. the bites on him. All right, let's get a release on this beautiful peacock bass. Ready? Yep. Good job, Chris. That's okay. Take your time. Beautiful big peacock. Hold the head up. Like as in, yeah. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Just like, Just like a snook. Just like a snook. Give it a little slight shake, just like a snook. Side to side. There it is. Good. Nice fish, Chris. Good job, bud. There he goes. Yes. There it is. Some knuckles. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arowana. Arowana. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's there he is. Good one. Oh, peacock. I saw another one of those. I did too. Another nice peacock. Sorry for the bad. <laughs> so it feels good. Got him. Nice, Chris. Another nice slob. Same size. Same size, all quality fish right now. Let's see if you got a DD yet? Is it a DD? It's exactly the same. Exactly the same? All right, let's get a release on this beautiful peacock bass. Just watch here. Yeah, I said I was gonna get there so I have yours is out. All, good. all right, Chris is gonna release that. I'm gonna make a cast with the whopper plopper up ahead. There it is, nice buddy, good job. Good job. So we just killed it with the arowana and peacock bass on the river to sea whopper ploppers by Larry Dahlberg. Larry Dahlberg fishes Guyana, or used to fish Guyana, Suriname with these lures, and they do work down here. But right now we're switching it up and we're gonna try for catfish again. Fish on. Fish on. What is that? Pyar? Huh? Weapon? I just thought because of the jump, maybe it was like a pyara came up. All right, we got something here. He thinks it's a leopard. No, oh, no, it's the whiskerless catfish. Yeah. What do you call them? Dowerlo. Dowerlo? Yeah. Dowerlo. All right, new species for me this trip. I caught one last trip, and for whatever reason, my camera's filming the other way. But Chris has got it on his. Nice. Isn't this good lalo bait? Yeah. Aren't the small ones good lalo bait? Yeah, the small ones. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. All right. Haven't caught one of these in a long time. Very weird catfish, like an alien. I was wondering why it jumped. I thought it was a payara. Because I've caught payara catfishing and they <laughs> jump. All right. Very weird catfish check that out whiskerless catfish call them Darolo. Oh, yeah, that was... Darolo. we're gonna get this catfish back in and see if we can get something 10 times the size thanks bud all right I guess you're ready to go see ya <laughs> nice all right new species for me We 
decided to go north today and we are actually back going back into the Arapaima pond to catch some small Lokanani or small butterfly peacock bass so we can catfish today. So we gotta work our way through this maze of jungle roots and stuff right up against the shoreline. Trees everywhere. A little difficult to get through here. It's getting shallow. Gotta push with the paddle because we're literally right at the shoreline there. We just got to a depth we're a little deep enough to proceed with the motor welcome to the arapaima pond except we're not arapaima fishing so we could be loud if we want we don't have to be super quiet let's check out this maze that we got to go through next big obstacle is some major tree limbs down Going right over this tree. Power over it, flip the engine, and welcome to the Arapaima Pond. But we're gonna try for some peacock bass for our bait. Dave must have fished him out. Oh, there we go. Too small or no? No. I don't think it's a peacock. Yeah. Bait or no? Chris just got a little tiny baby bicuda. This is nothing new on the subsurface. What do you think about that? I think I got hit right there. That one could... oh, there it is. All right. First piece of bait for me. Yeah. Nice butterfly peacock. Big pond looking on you. Look, Chris. Put the whopper flopper right here. Put the whopper flopper right here. I don't see the follow. And there's a butterfly peacock bass, just like what we catch in Florida. Exactly the same fish. Bait? Yeah or no? Okay. Come on. All those good casts went the way. The shallow, there's a shallow spot there too. There he is, got him. Nice. I hooked the rock. Come on. All right, second peacock for me for bait. We're probably good for now. We got two peacocks and that bicuda. That'll get us pretty far. Time to go for some cats. We just got to this little Amazonian beach here and we're cutting up some of those little peacocks that we just caught. We're gonna try for some bigger kitty cats. So basically what's happening is he's taking my bait by boat and dropping it into the kitty hole way out there so we can get it far enough to where the big catfish should be. And there it goes. Boom. See how deep or not it is. And I think I'm on bottom. 
So, all right, so we're catfishing now. Hopefully I get a bite within a couple minutes here and I'm sure I will. I'm sure something will happen. Fish on. Got him. The reel's doing that sound again now. It's not as big as what I hoped, at least. Yeah, no. No, no, he's big. 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 I don't think so. He felt really big for a second. Oh my God. Stingray. Stingray. Amazonian short tail stingray. That's why I felt big for a second there. All right, new species. There he is. These guys are dangerous. This is the oscillated stingray. I have caught these before, but four times the size. I hate dealing with these things. <laughs> they have a venomous mucus on their tail, so you have to be very careful of them. They will hurt you. All right, let's get this thing off the hook and back in the river. I've never seen one in real life. Their stinger has a very venomous mucus. Eric is going to get stung by this and give us a pain right here. A very cool stingray. How do you want to go about this? How do you want to go about this? Cut. UFO. There it goes the stingray back into the water. And hopefully the next fish will be a giant lolo. So what do you use yourself if you got stuck by the stingray? What are you looking for? The bush that tree is the broad leaf tree. The broad leaf tree? Yeah, the side of the river. Okay. Get some young ones. And you just take it and squeeze it and piece it to the same, the same little bush. Just take it, roast it and paste it. And paste it. And it neutralizes the venom. Yeah. Wow, very cool. Uh, hit me at the fall so yeah it took me right here oof right here and me alone and you alone yeah i shoot a paco i shoot a paco and i come back right there he smelled the ramp yeah very fast small one like this ah uh, i just passed it and got you and I, and I cut the lime i had some lime in my boot i put lime and salt and i just cut it up tie it and the lime do suck suck back the arm um, poison Really? Yeah, and I drink about four pain tablets. Yeah. And it's good. And it was good, no infection? No, nothing. I, uh, in the morning, yeah. at afternoon time, I walk back. Good. Oh, wow. Nothing happened. So yeah. it's better than medicine yeah, from doctors? Yeah, it's better more than doctors. Doctors give medicine, but they don't know what, what is the thing here. Huh. You cannot eat pepper. Pepper is thing hot. So if you eat pepper, yes, it yes. makes it worse. Yeah, it makes it worse. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One of the trees. Yeah, I'll show you I'll show you when we pass it. Yeah. I'll show you which one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna see one of the trees that will neutralize the venom of the stingray once we're done fishing here on the beach. Fun water mama. Yeah, water mama. Getting a bite here, guys. That's a nice fish. Yep. So we're hooked up into something decent here. Yes, finally something good. I don't think it's, don't know yet, but I don't think it's a 200, 300 pound water mama, but it's a good fish. No, no, he's out. Excited here to see what this is. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's thinking it might be another one of those stingrays. Kind of hope not. I hope it decides to wake up and just takes off. <laughs> if it's a stingray, it's bigger. <laughs> Huh. 
Huh? I don't know. Unless it's just a lazy catfish. Yeah, big catfish bubble, right? Joe? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice Joe. All right, he's just a lazy catfish. Better than a stingray. <laughs> nice. Same size as yesterday. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm real happy with that. Good. Not the water mama that we're hoping for, but it is my second favorite catfish here, the gel. Oh, look, hooked, he's false hooked. All right, there's the gel. Yeah, there he is. Gel catfish number two for me. We're gonna get him right back in. Thank you. You good? Good, good there, buddy? Give me time. Whew, took my breath away for a second. How you doing there, bud? Ready? You're ready. See you, everybody. Thank you. Let's see if we can get our water, Mama. Chris had two giant Lao Lao's on. They keep on breaking the braid on us. And we're using 80 pound braid and heavy top shot and heavy wire. But these fish are gigantic. It's really testing our tackle, really testing our knots. The plan was that we were gonna leave and Chris got that huge bite. We're gonna tough it out here at this beach. There's obviously giant Lao Lao here. So we're gonna give it some time. I don't care if I sit here all day. I want giant Lao Lao. A uh, guy just dropped my bait off in the pool that's out there where the Lao Lao are sitting. So let's hope I get that bite and hopefully my tackle could hold up to the giant Lao Lao or the water mama. Right in here is some iguana eggs. I've eaten them before. I wasn't a fan of them. <laughs> I didn't like them too much. If you move reptile eggs around, it actually kills the embryo. So we're going to leave that in place right there. Pretty cool, go on eggs. So we're gonna be going for one of the most vicious looking fish here in Guyana, the Payara, the vampire fish, the saber tooth fish, whatever you wanna call them. Big old lure, little bit of wire, and let's see if we can manage to pull one off. Bit off. I had wire on. I don't know what just happened. I can't believe that. I felt something and then it was gone. So basically my knot pulled. My knot, I was using my knot all day yesterday. I don't know what happened there. So I just lost my brand new lure that I just tied on. Chris is just trolling right now for the Payara. So let's see what happens. Is there meat on there? How is that? How did that happen? Fish. I don't know how that happened. Dude, there was a chunk of meat on my treble hook when I reeled it in. I saw that. How does that happen? There it is. Fish on. Payara. Nice. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Got a PIR on right now. I knew I felt the hit before. Nice. Feels like a good fish too. Yeah, this is a good fish. I hope he has just the back trouble so he doesn't have this lure devoured. Because if so, I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, yes. Feels like a good one. It's a real good one. All right. 
spin the boat around. All right, thank you. Just gonna take my time with this fish. It's a big fish. We're gonna tire them out like he's saying. They do jump and you don't want this jumping in your face. Saber tooth fish. Might see him here soon, maybe, maybe not. Depends how big it is. I think it's a big one. I think it's a real big one, like 15, 20 pounds. Yes. Please stay pinned. Please don't break this line. I'm using 50 pound fluorocarbon. You're supposed to be using wire with these things and you'll see why once I get the fish up. One of the vicious looking fish in Essequibo River. Yes. <laughs> Can't believe that. And I'm definitely using a wrong rod and reel for this fish. This is a 10 to 20 pound rod with 30 pound braid. I should be using a 20 to 40 pound rod with a 5,000, 6,000 size reel and a heavy wire top shot. So I'm going, I'm, all odds are against me right now, basically. All odds are against me right now with this fish. It's a big one. I think it's gonna be my biggest pyara ever. To be honest, I really do. It's gonna be a giant. I'm just taking my time. He's not ready to come up yet. Whew. There it is. Yes, it's a giant, dude. It's a giant pyara. It's a giant, 20? I saw it. It's giant. Wow. Big one, right? You hit them right. Please, please, please. I'm gonna be so scared to hold this fish. Do you have the boga? Get him the bogus. Wow. I'm not landing this thing. Yeah, why don't you just reach in and lift it for me, Chris? <laughs> just grab it. <laughs> I don't need my left hand, right? Uh, yeah i'm just gonna take my time with this fish guys it's a mondo this is the one we saw jumping yeah. that's a big one dude that's a real big pyara that's definitely my biggest not even on a deep diver just a regular rapala x wrap without a big lip on it i think this thing only dives to like two or three feet deep but as I was saying, if the Pyara sees it and he wants it, he's coming for it. Doesn't matter how deep or, or not. I'm gonna try. Yes, guys. It's not over until it's over though. There's the, there it is guys, there it is. I don't even like the splice I have. I just tied a really quick uni knot just to go fishing because my FG pulled for some reason on my first cast. It must have loosened up somehow yesterday. Chris, I can't believe it. There it is, guys. Big Kayara. Yes! That's a landed fish. I'm calling out landed even if it falls off. Wow, look at those teeth. Lures out. Yeah. Such a scary fish. Wow. Look at those teeth. Oh. Look at those teeth. Guys, I can't even lift it. He's 22 pounds. What? 22. Chris Camera, we're going to release that monster of a Pyara. Yes. My hand is slime covered, man. <sighs> yeah, he's gonna live. Yes, Chris, yes. Thank you. Thank you for dealing with the big scary fish for me. Whew, I can't believe it. Only a few casts in, slime covered. Got the saber tooth fish, the vampire fish, the payara. We just moved to another kitty hole, so. Hopefully we can manage to find 
the almighty water mama at one of these holes here. Chris had two of them on. I really think they were big Puribas, but they snapped the braid on them either on a snag or just the sheer size of the fish was gigantic. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Me? Before the flow. Yeah. Remember when he was talking about the stingray getting you? If you were to be stuck by the stingray, see this leaf right here, that will cure the venom, that will neutralize the venom. So you apply to the wound. Yeah. Now, do you just rub the leaf on you? This, 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 this one here? Yeah. This, this young one you take. Okay. And then now, do you have to like this, break it? This one here, you just take this and roast it on the beautiful fire. Roast it on the fire. And, yeah, and it gets soft, very soft. Then you put put this on the on the bowl. Okay, yeah. so it's like an oil yes, that comes. Yes, you got to take a piece of this now, a young a young shoot. A young shoot. And okay. You, you roast it like that one, yes, sir. Yeah. And you just roast it and squeeze the juice on it, and then you take this on the piece. And, and I see. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. So you got to roast it, and then you get like a a paste, a oil from it, and you put it on the stingray wounds and it'll neutralize the venom. Good to know, very good to know. If I was ever to get stuck by the stingray here. It's starting to rain. So we're just covered up in some rain gear, still waiting on a kitty cat. It takes a lot to be here, getting rained on, a lot of heat, sun. So definitely give Chris credit for being here with me doing this. Hopefully we can get a kitty cat to bite. Big fish, big fish. Big fish, eating lunch here and big fish on. Heavy, very heavy, big fish. Heavy, very heavy. Very heavy fish. I don't think this fish even knows he's hooked. Wow, it's a big fish. It's coming up way too quick for the weight that he is. What is it? And he's about to come up. Ah, oh, yeah. another stingray. All right, <laughs> perfect. And a thunderstorm coming. Over there, be easier for you. We're gonna drag him over to a beach so we don't have to deal with this thing on the boat. So we are trying to flee here because we just had lightning strike right behind us. Rain's coming. I'm still snagged. And being in the middle of the river is not the place to be during a lightning storm here. Definitely not. Chris is snagged, so we're gonna get that out. We're gonna go retreat, try to hide somewhere so we don't get killed. We got some leaf cutter ants right there. As you can see, this little guy right here marching around with the cut leaf. That's a nasty looking one. Yeah, nice. Lightning begins. As upon further investigation, there's this line here in the jungle, right? It's a clear path that the ants make. They move the stuff out of the way. They bring, here's more of the leaf cutter ants. Right here's the leaf cutters. They bring all this stuff into their mound here. They turn it into like a paste and their larvae actually eat it. Very, very interesting. Leaf cutter ants and they clear a trail, a path for themselves, just like a person would do. And if anything gets in the way, they move it out of the way so they have a clear path all the time. On even further investigation, there's a bunch of these leaf cutter mounds. I could see more trails going through the jungle right over here. And you could see the trail of the leaf cutters going to another mound. So I'm retreating underneath these trees here uh, to help prevent getting completely soaked. It's gonna help somewhat, but not all the way. And here comes the soaking rain. Uh, we're just avoiding the lightning. That's what scares me out here. I almost got killed the last time I was in Guyana. I was on a boat out in the middle of the river. The lightning struck right next to the boat. Everyone hit the deck. One of our guys was literally shaking for hours after the fact, uncontrollably. I guess he was in some sort of shock. 
So we're gonna avoid the lightning, fishing rods, metal boats, middle of the river, three bad things during a lightning storm. Decided to retreat and it's definitely a smart idea. A giant catfish is not worth our lives. So these ants are literally carrying out all this sand as it falls in, mm -hmm. they'll take it back out to clear mm -hmm. out their home. Yeah. Very interesting. There's a whole community down there mm -hmm. and each ant has its own job. Nature is pretty crazy. It's probably like <laughs> equivalent to a hundred pounds to us. <laughs> what are you making over here? What are you making? Slingshot. slingshot. That's yeah. what I thought you were doing. <laughs> Very cool. He's making a slingshot right out of the jungle. Now, are you going to use like a vine or are you going to use string? Yes. Rubber. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Making a slingshot straight out of the jungle. We let that lightning pass by. It's still just sprinkling out. Um, played with some ants, watched him build a uh, slingshot, and now we're gonna try kitty cat fishing. I'm gonna cast over that way. No, you're going that way. I'm going that way. You're going there. Okay. There it is. Go ahead, Chris. All right. Come on, don't mess this up. I won't. Shoo, there it is. All right. Bombs away. Right there. Right there is a 300 pound lalo. <laughs> I'm in my hole. What am I in my hole? You heard it, folks. She's here. Tight, tight. Shake, shake, plus. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. There you go. Good job. Good job, sir. You just swam to the surface. See what he has. What do you got going on here? Oh, another one of these oscillated rays. Apparently, there's a lot in here. <laughs> Apparently, there's a lot. New species oh boy, for me. new species for him is the oscillated stingray, but <laughs> I already caught two today. So apparently there's a lot of these things in this area right now. We're gonna get him off the hook and uh, see if we can get a catfish. Ready, right. We're gonna have Chris cast out for these payara. See if you can get a jumbo. And I'm just gonna cast this little silver lure. Watch me hook the payara on this <laughs> with 30 pound fluorocarbon, which is definitely not the best thing to use for these fish. So I'm expecting if I get bit, I break off. You know what I mean? Get the titanium, short titanium wire feeders. There you go. There you go, Chris. It's smaller. It's okay, take your time. There it is. Oh! Keep it down. <laughs> nice, Chris. Here's the second Pyara of the trip. It's a little bit smaller than mine, but that's okay. It's a Pyara. That's nice, about the buddy. size of the one I saw following me in earlier. Yeah, good though. Nice, buddy. I guess, I guess they like that clown lure, huh? Yeah. It's, it's bigger than the other one. 
that you caught. Oh, much bigger. We're about to attempt to land Chris's Payara, which is like a normal size one. Nice, buddy. There it is. All right. Look at the teeth on that thing. Look at those teeth on that thing, huh? Check those teeth out, the vampire fish. There's the payara. Look at those teeth on them. Chris is gonna get a release on this payara. Just be careful. And hold, exactly, hold the tail. Yep. Before the boga, yeah. Now you could, you have to stick his head in. You could lose the boga, he's not gonna turn back and get you. It's easier said than done. There it is, okay. Just like a snook, man. There you go. Got the lactic acid built up out of him. Me. He's not going to turn around. <laughs> he won't. He won't. There you go. Gentle sways. Now he's getting the lactic acid out of him. There, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying that the big one's going to come up and bite his hand off. And Chris let go. <laughs> nice, man. All right. We got Chris a payara. It is getting close to nighttime. We're going to give it one more shot for some kitty cats. And let's see if we can manage to pull off one last fish for the night. And then tomorrow is what, day eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's already getting towards the end of the trip. Tomorrow's already day eight. We've got a couple more fish I'd like to see. See if we can get us a nice catfish. Yeah. yeah. It's not terrible either. It's not fighting. I was thinking for that particular shallow. Now it's angry. Little red tail kitty cat. What's going on, bud? How are you today? Good evening. Welcome. So just a little little tiny red tail. Back yeah, you want to put your, yeah, he's walking back in himself. Let him do it himself. That's funny. He knows. He knows where the water is. He's ready to go. See you later, buddy. Have a good night. See how I'm cupping the spool? Wild tight and a drag. Better fish. Oh, he came off. He came off. All right. That's okay. No bait. Took the bait. I think we're gonna call it a night there. Probably just head back to the lodge. We're gonna call this the end of day seven and we'll see you on day eight. Good morning from Guyana. It is day eight. We're just waiting on John and he's still up there screwing around. We have a bigger boat today. It's gonna be the three of us, Chris, John, and I. Then we're gonna do a lot of catfish. Try to get our big Lao Lao Pirariba, Water Mama, whatever you wanna call it. So we'll see you from the spot. Remember a few episodes back, we put some trail cameras in the jungle in two different locations. We're at our first location here. We'll watch your head here. And we're gonna be getting off the boat to, re to retrieve the first trail cam. Uh, your best bet is just to climb up here. <laughs> best bet's to climb, right? I'll hold it this way, don't swing. You're gonna hold it? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you stepped good, out, I'm going to push buddy. off. <laughs> good buddy, right? Yeah, I'm a good guy. He never says it. Let's see if Larry eats it on the way up. All right, he managed to get off. Flip-flops and all, we need it. Yeah, with the flops on. Huh? Larry's going to be able to take a pee. Make sure the guide is good. I'm sure he is. <laughs> Tying off the boat's definitely a good idea. This is, if you remember from previous episode, this was like the game trail that we kind of followed. 
And I believe this is the one with the pond, right? Probably should go the way the guide's going. Probably makes sense, right? Yeah, I'm following him. I don't know about you. <laughs> Let's follow the guide. I think that's a better idea. <laughs> and he's going to keep an eye to see if there's any fresh footprints and I'm getting stuck by everything. And I see our camera right over here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to tell how many videos it captured, but it's still here. <laughs> I don't think anyone was gonna steal it out here. Well, it got you on video. Let's see. <laughs> Is it showing? No, it's coming to battery life though. It was at 99. 99. Uh oh. It didn't record, did it? I think it might have. Okay, let's check it. One way to find out. One way to find out. Let's try to turn it off. Back over here was the pond, right? Back over this way, there was some sort of pond. You can see it in the distance over there. Good point for an animal to, good area for an animal to get some water. Right back in there. We're going to review that trail cam footage right now and see if we see anything. We're at our first kitty spot for the afternoon. This is close to where Chris caught the baby water mama and his red tail, I believe. So let's see if Water Mama Senior is here today. Dropped it. I can't believe it. I'm just not patient anymore. You know what I mean? It comes to a point where yeah. you're not patient. Yeah. I, I mean, that why. fish should have definitely had this bait. Yeah, I still should cast my fish. Yeah, I'm gonna cast back yeah. with it. But the fish was moving with yeah. it. He should have had it in his mouth. Yeah. Especially if it's a 200 pound catfish, you'd think it's in his mouth. <laughs> Starting to lose my patience with the catfish. That fish definitely was moving with the bait in, in its mouth. And I swung and it wasn't there. Even if it was a five pound catfish, I feel like that whole entire bait should have been in his mouth. John's starting to get a runoff over here. I'm just gonna check my bait real quick. Like it's a decent fish, it bent the rod. My drag's not. Yeah, I still have bait. I'm gonna recast back to that spot. He's grabbing it by the head, not the hook end. You got him. Man. It's a big fish, too. There you go, John. John's got a big fish on. You're good, you're good, you're good. Nice. You got him, John? what's happening to all of us. Yeah. Really? Is that big? Yeah. Is that big? Yeah. Hopefully it's not a stingray and there's just a surprise on the end of the line and it's just a lazy catfish. <laughs> Sucks. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to a bank or? I'd like to flip it somehow. I uh, don't bring it in. I'm not going to bring it in a boat. It's not a flip. Oh, so flip it in. Yeah, I'm going to put it on Chris's lap. Yeah, let me get a photo with it. Tail first, please. Do you want to just give me the rod? Yeah, try to flip it. Just be careful. 
bring the line over to me. You want more line? Yes. That explains the dancing of the line. That explains Luda. I wish we learned that like four days ago. We are getting the hook from this stingray and we're gonna put a bait back in for another catfish. Or hopefully a catfish. Yeah. Oh, he's there, he's there. He's there? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to tighten him, stay tight on him. Is he still there? Yeah, yeah he's still there. The jug is slept. Yeah. He's coming at the boat. Take the boat, take the boat. All right, well, at least Chris is on to something. I got to reel in my line anyhow. Fighting really weird. What is it? Red tail. Red tail. I got to check my line anyhow, check the bait. Chris has got a red tail. All right, bring him on over, bud. He's coming through the boat. Little kitty of a red tail. Got him right there. Another little red tail catfish. There he is, Chris. Let him go. Yeah, no. You want sashimi? Yeah. All right, we're gonna sashimi this catfish. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna let him go. See you, bud. Thank you. All right. At least we got one kitty in a boot. There you go, John. Stay tight. Nice, John. John's on to a kitty. Very nice. Don't feel like right now. Red tail. Here he comes. Wow, the sand's just collapsing beneath me. Nice. There he is. Good old red tail kitty cat. We're gonna get this red tail catfish back in. There he is. Have a good day. Eat up so next year you're three times the size. Nice man, good job. Ooh, that was a thump. Didn't take line. Hit him. Around it. It's small. It's snagged. I'm on. Fish on. Yeah, there you go. Tap. Fish on. Chris is on. I'm on. He's coming at the beach again. Double header. What do you got, Chris? A basha? Oh, the single head. Basha. Look at the size of that drum. Ooh. I got Three a piranha. Species. You keep them? Yes, we do. All right. Yeah. Nice, Chris. Very nice. That's sweet. I'm actually really pumped about that. Yeah. Bait. Look at that drum. That's a big one. Bait and dinner. <laughs> Check out that basha or a freshwater drum. What a fish. That's a chunk, huh? It's a real chunk. Wow. Well. Dude, can't believe it. Yeah. Big, big drum. Yeah. Very big drum. <laughs> wow. Big basha. 
You're good, probably gonna keep them for dinner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look what just came out of it. What? Oh, it's a kindiru, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a kindiru. It's this right here. Look at the blood coming in out of my hand here. This is a kindiru parasitic catfish. This is the one that people say go up your pee hole when you pee in the Amazon. What a nasty little fish that is, huh? Look at all the blood it spit out on me. Want to hold him, Chris? It's yeah. Not do anything. Oops. Might spit blood on you. Do we kill this when we're done? No. But look at that kendiru. Nasty little parasitic catfish. That's the little parasite I was hoping to see this whole trip and we finally saw one. Nice. You could toss them back into the river. I got two new species. Yeah, two species. <laughs> <laughs> Drum and the kendiru. Got a fish on here. Turn on the camera a little late. It's coming at me. Might be a piranha. Oh no, it's a cerebum. Nice little cerebum. Little Colette, they call it down here. Beautiful catfish. He took off like a freight train. Turned on the camera a little late because I was setting the hook. Beautiful Surrey. Nice. All right, we got to be careful with these guys because they have some nasty spines on them. Do you have your bogus? Yeah. Beautiful Colette. All right, just a little Colette. He is just under four pounds. Beautiful tiger catfish. Look at that striping on him. Look at that tail. See the tail got all bit up by piranhas. That's an older one, it wasn't recent. But let's let him go. Thank you, little guy. There he is, tiger catfish. We decided that we're gonna go out and do a little nighttime shining. Basically what shining is, is using a spotlight or a torch, shining up into the trees, looking for different wildlife. My goal is to find an Amazon tree boa. So let's get out there and see what we could spot. Now we're just spotlighting up in the trees. It might be a little hard to see in the camera right now, but we're looking for eye shine from kinkajous and other wildlife. But obviously, my number one goal, like I said, is the tree boa. Cruising around the jungle in the middle of the night. It's right up in the tree there. See that eye shine? That is a night owl. Pretty cool bird. Still on the search for the Amazon tree boa, though. There he is looking at us there. Let's see what else we can match and find out here. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, why does it have to be so high up? Up oh, there's a snake. I know it's impossible to see. I can't tell what type it is. What type do you think that is? It's right up there. Sam? From this angle, no. I know How high up? Is. Like, is it? Yeah, he's too high up. We're right where my light is. See it? You just passed it, John. In the red, in the red. Right there. Oh, it's a tree boa. It's a tree boa. Yeah, it's definitely a tree boa. Why does he have to be so high up though? Damn it, man. I wish I had something to get him down. He's going higher and higher up, isn't he? All right. That's our first Amazon tree boa of the night. He's a little out of reach, unfortunately, though. Maybe we could find one that's in a lower branch that I could actually capture. It's right up above us here is another Amazon tree boa. He's a little high up though. Man, see, yeah, we could see him in the camera. If I can get him down somehow, man. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, dude, dude shake don't the shake the tree. <laughs> if you pull, pull the boat, let's pull crazy? the boat. Here, hold this, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Let's pull the boat forward and I'll shake the tree. Yeah, Okay. fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> shake it all you want with the ass, <laughs> the bow out there. Shake the tree. It's, it's just directly. a boa. It's yeah, just a it's boa, dude. Right it's not gonna kill you. Oh, I'm in a danger zone. Oh man. Come on. 
He's almost off. <laughs> he's gonna be real fired up once he comes down. Oh yeah, he's not gonna be too cold. Come to me. Come to me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. 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 It's Target species of the night. The Amazon tree boa. Just don't want them to bite me in the face. I'm worried about my face. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Check that out, guys. Beautiful tree boa. We finally got one. Yes. Turn your headlamp. Right. Can you turn your headlamp off? Sorry. Sorry. Kind of hides it. All right, maybe we'll see this better now on camera. The tree boa. Target species of the night. I'm yeah, so happy to finally find one. It's a decent size one too. What a beautiful snake this is. He did bite me a little bit. See that right there? I'm bleeding. Yeah, I wonder why. It's okay. They're non-venomous. Man, my leg's shaking. I'm just so happy. Beautiful yeah, snake. Yes. Look how beautiful this snake is. You see the markings on him? Look at that. Amazing. Look. Amazon tree bow. <laughs> I am so pumped about this. I love these snakes. Always wanted one when I was a kid. Here's one in my hands right now, and it's a healthy specimen. It's a large one. Chris, do you want to try it out? Sure. Here, give me the GoPro. You sure he's calm? Yeah. <laughs> if you get bit, it doesn't hurt that bad. Believe me, it doesn't hurt that bad. Just grab on and stop. Put your head towards Eric. Good, good. Look at that, Chris, with an Amazon tree boa. What do you think, Chris? It's, uh, he's smooth. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. First pole constrictor in the wild for you, huh? I'd say so. Now this isn't the big bodied, heavy bodied pole constrictor that everyone thinks of. This is a tree climbing bow constrictor. They feed on lizards, frogs, small birds, and small rodents. But mostly the lizards and frogs that live up in the trees. They do come in different color phases. This is the most common color phase of the tree boa. Beautiful. John, do you want to hold them? Yeah. It's going to be scary though. They stink, right? They do. They must. We pissed them off. Look how he's got my, my uh, wrist. Yeah. See that, guys? They're, they have a prehensile tail. They hang from the branches above and they wait to stalk out a lizard or a frog in the nighttime. We're going to get a picture of John with this tree boa. Oh boy. You know what you're doing here? Not a clue. <laughs> It doesn't hurt that bad if it bites. Just He's don't, calm. like, just don't slap him in the face. Don't grab onto him. Just use your hand and gently hold him. Like, don't squeeze him. Yeah, like, don't, don't face squeeze. him towards me. <laughs> oh man, oh. just hold it like. That's actually a tree viper. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just don't like close your hands on him. Yeah, you're doing it. You got it, buddy. It doesn't hurt that bad if it Sorry. bites. I promise you. He's still <laughs> he's still attached to me. Let's just do it that way. Just grab my phone real quick. Yeah. Don't worry. He's calm. He calmed down a lot. All right. Oh, it's weird. Man. It's cool though, right? <laughs> They're very. Yeah, it is cool. They're he's, very he's chill now. Though. He's chill. Yeah, obviously, at first he was a little pissy. You see that bite? Yeah. He bit me real quick. It's okay. They're very smooth. That's what threw me I'm a off. Pissy too when I get woken up like that. <laughs> uh, he's wide awake. He's on the hunt right now. He's waiting for something to pass by. We found you. Man, I spotted him up in the tree. I looked, turned, and I saw that eye shine. I'm so happy. You are so pretty, buddy. Look how pretty you are. Yes, you are. You're a gorgeous snake. You want him? Sure. All right. One last look of this boa constrictor, and we're gonna put him back up in the tree. Yes! So happy. Let's find a nice tree limb for him. He, look look how prehensile this body is. Watch this. If I put him by the tree and he realizes there's a tree, he's gonna climb up.
watch how prehensile these snakes are. We're gonna help him out until he gets to a more sturdy area. Look at that, he's still on my hand here. There, he's fine now. That should be sturdy enough for him without him falling in. There he goes back up the tree. Thank you, buddy, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. Yes, guys, that definitely made the day for me. Made, that's okay. That made the day for me, that made the night, that made this trip. I wanted to see one of those, and we accomplished it. We're gonna head back to the lodge soon. We might shine a little bit more, see if we can find something else. And we're gonna toss out the line to see if we can get a water mama. Just casted a bait out from the beach here at the lodge. We're gonna see if we can get a water mama at nighttime. Guys are still down there casting out some baits. There's some big old black caiman around, so we definitely have to be a little careful. Let's see if we can get a big catfish. Dude, it's All right. Chris is gonna be on here in a second. There you go, Chris, reel down, tighten. Nice. This is the last time I was here, I caught some really nice catfish from this spot. Stay tight. Stay tight. Yes. Good job, Check man. my spool before we figured it out. Oh, here it is. Red tail. Make sure these caimans don't come through. Nice, dude. Good red tail. Chunky. Real chunky red tail. Let <laughs> me put the rod in the holder. Bales are open. Nice. First catfish in like five minutes, not even from the beach. What do you think, Chris? Shocked. Here are these caimans, just make sure there's one on a beach. Is that one on a beach right there? Yep. No, yeah, it's, it's a bird. bird. Okay. All right, let's get the hook out of this uh, red tail. Chris, you want to hold your red tail? It's a little sandy. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's Chris with his red tail. Show Lisa. I'm walking all the way up. This is Lisa here checking out the red tail catfish. Be careful with that. Where's the spine on him? Pectoral fins and dorsal fin. Okay. Pretty cool, right? You have anything to say to anyone in America? <laughs> No. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so you're gonna put it back in the water? Yeah, yeah. he's going back home. Oh, it's yeah. fun to catch him. You're a nice looking catfish. Yeah, he has a lot of yellow. They also call him banana catfish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lisa got a little sand in her face probably. <laughs> Alright, let's get him back in. Alright, we're gonna bring this healthy old red tail back to his home. Is he ready? Yeah, probably. Nice. There he goes. See you later, bud. Good job, Chris. We're going to get Chris another bait on. And I told him that this spot over here was the deal, right? Yeah. Nice, dude. Fist. It is like 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we only got that one bite tonight. We got to be up in like five hours. So we're going to retrieve our baits and head to bed. We're about to sign off for the night. And as we were reeling in our baits, we heard a growl. We think it came from the other side of the river, like directly across from us. I'm just waiting for the guys. They're grabbing their headlamps. I'm standing on the beach alone. But it was a loud, loud growl. I'm pretty sure it was a cat, as in a jaguar type cat. And then we heard it for a second time, a little further down, there's a beach just on the other side of the river there. So I'm waiting on the guys to come over here and we're gonna walk closer to attempt to see if there's a jaguar over there. 
It's a little scary. It's a very loud growl. So we're walking over to see what that noise was. Probably a little crazy to do at one something in the morning by ourselves, but we're really curious to what that was. Let's make sure it's not to the left. Yeah, look to the left. It was definitely like right over there. They were pretty sure, guys, that it was a Jaguar. Obviously, it's very hard to see because it's super dense on the other side. I'm not seeing any eye shines as of yet, but it was a loud growl. Saw something? John's got his light on it. You saw the, the flash, right? The sparkle of light. I didn't see it, but they're claiming they saw something over there. Could potentially be a jaguar. I wouldn't exactly say stalking us, but close. Let's make sure we're not being stalked from behind. Okay. That was the deepest growl I've ever heard in my whole life. John, that bad thing you saw was gone. Look, there's nothing there. No. There's nothing there. You saw that little quick flash, right? There was, when you shot the red light on it, you as saw soon as like, you passed through it, that's why I knew it was like. See, my light wouldn't illuminate the animals, but it's going to catch the eye only. But yeah, I saw like a greenish yellow. If it's greenish light. yellow, it's a cat. There's a caiman right there. Where? Right there. Where? To the right. Uh, to the right. I see his eye. Straight down. Right there. Look. Like right here? No. Look. See the tree? Yeah. Look to the left and past it. See, it's like the red with the blue ring. You really don't see that eye shine? No. Down. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Let right me hit it with the ring. Bring it right there, See how, look how bright those eyes look. <laughs> yeah. So it lights up the eyes only for the most part. There's a wolf spider on the tree. Yeah, I see that. A couple of them. I didn't light up the woods, but I saw the reflection of eye shine right there. What do you think, Chris? I think I should call to it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the caiman. Look at the caiman. It's a big one. There's the caiman's eye shine in the camera there. It is one o'clock in the morning, just past one o'clock in the morning, and we have to get up in like four and a half, five hours. We have one whole day of fishing. Oh, I'm getting bugs in my face to go. So this is where I'm going to sign off. It's morning nine from Guyana. Today is our last and final day. We're gonna put a lot of time in for some catfish. Let's get on out there. got to our first spot we're gonna attempt to catch some catfish let's see if the water mama wants to eat today John is on to a significant fish Yeah, he's gonna come around. He's coming around. Nice, man. Last day, and we got a good hook up here. Literally five minutes. Do 
it burnt my finger. Dude, I was, my finger was on the braid, like smoking. <laughs> oh. ah. That rod is bent. Again, huh? Nice, John. That'll wake you up, huh? I'm, I'm wide awake right now. <laughs> what is it going to be? Is it going to be the water mama? That's okay. It's a big red tail. Very nice. It's like the size of Chris's the first day. Good, man. You want to go on the beach, he's asking? I guess it's not too far, right? Yeah, it's right over there. See my top shot? It's all frayed up, right? Good thing you left your bait there. Good thing I put the hunter in front of you. Look at that fish. Beautiful fish. There's John's red tail. Check that out. What a beast. Man. How you doing today, buddy? Look yeah. at that beast of the catfish. Yes. That's a real big one. Look at that. Kirk, it's like last night. Yeah. Um, mine are right by my chair on the floor. And these suppliers, John hooked him really good. John's top shot is absolutely shredded. Dude. Look at that, he's so lucky to get that fish in. Around his snag and everything. Wow. <laughs> we could split it apart, right? Yeah. Just about. It looks like braid. Yeah, it looks like braid in line. Oh, Perfect. Wow. We got a dorsal fin on that thing. What a monster. Monsters do exist in Guyana. They really do should feel how leathery the skin feels on this red tail. Big old stomach on him. Look at that beautiful bright red tail on him. Such a powerful river monster. Wow, well, there's my hand compared to its tail. Big, big catfish. I'm just making sure he doesn't walk in. All right, this is gonna be a tough one. Uh, let me get on the sun side of you. Yeah, you get over there for the picture, Chris. Mm. Look at that beast. Wow. What a beast. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> One more. Sideways. I got three like that. Good ones? <clears throat> Probably. <clears throat> Probably. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's, let me get one like this. Oh, yeah. Right, time to get this beautiful catfish back in.
Okay, we moved on to another catfish spot. We did not get any bites in quite some time. Ah. I gotta redo that cast so I clipped the tree above me. I didn't even Not see far. that. Ah, I think that's okay. Alright, that's gonna have to do. I think that's an okay spot. It's near the current flow in the slack right next to it. So should be catfish there. Oh. Huh? Yeah. What do you got there, John? School leopards out there? Yeah. I think it's going to be a good sized leopard. It is. Dinner. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with my egg sinker. My sinker got messed up too. I felt that I couldn't rub it down. I'm going to have to redo my FG. Damn. All right, I'm gonna have to redo my knot. My FG got all my stuff for my egg sinker. But let's see what John has first here. You have branches right under you. Is it a pullet? Red tail. Red tail. Okay. That seems to be John's theme there. Red tail catfish. Nice. All right. All right, there he is. Nice little red tail catfish, probably like what, eight, ten, eight, ten pounds. Get that six pounds. Somewhere around there. Um, I have to retie my FG knot. My egg sinker went up a oh, over ten. and then kind of loosened up the wrap, so that definitely has to be retied. And we're going to get another bait out there after that's done. John is onto something as I'm tying the FG knot. Another leopard. Another leopard catfish. I'm still getting tapped. Be careful, Tim. I'm ready here. I will take him home tomorrow. <laughs> Chris, he's loose you. He's still on it? Yeah. Okay. He's there. <laughs> Chris is getting a bite too. He's been tapping me for five minutes now. Are you going home tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. then I, I want to get this catfish to drop home. I came, come back again. I go, other guys there. Mm -hmm. Go, Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, Chris. He's gone. Let me just get this out of the water so Fronda doesn't just oh, Thank you. <laughs> My luck, I'd put the, the bait in and a Fronda would pull the rod in. And I'd be spec feeding. There you go, John. John's on to something. It's getting serious over here. Feels like a leopard. Oh, you're on my line now. Get this out of here. All right, stop rolling. Just let's figure it out. Another Payara. This is not a good situation. Oh, this is real bad. Oh, dude, it came out real. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. It's, it's jammed. 
I guess he's a little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah, he can't, Chris can't lose that much more. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I'm on. This catfish was just sleeping on it. I thought I felt him pull. He brought it into a snag. I got him out of the snag. Oh, Aymara, Aymara, another wolf fish. Big? No, small one, but an Aymara, guys, I was not expecting that. Yeah. What was that? All kinds of stuff's happening right now. I got another Aymara, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could try tonight. Yeah, tonight you get fire. Because tonight's the last night. Yeah, tonight. Right. We're going to keep this Aymara. This is insane. We have Pyaras, Aymaras, all kinds of Auras going on right now. <laughs> there he is, the Aymara, the river demon of the Essequibo. We're just going to tire him out so he doesn't hurt anyone. And I'm going to try to keep his head down. There's another Aymara. Just Aymara Jr. Phew, look at him. You weren't expecting that out there, huh? Perfect. Let's check him out. There's the Aymara, the wolf fish, the river demon of the Essequibo River. That's right, I don't need a picture of this. I got a picture of my bigger one. So this one here, we're gonna kill it and we're gonna eat him tonight. <laughs> I was not expecting that whatsoever. There you go, Chris. Nice, man. It's okay. Right at us. <gasps> there you go. Collect. Serve them. New species. Yeah. They're quick. Oh, yeah. They're like little bullets. Definitely, definitely getting a photo with this one. Yep. Yeah. Now where you got my phone of yours? I know. Can I hold him sideways or no? You just have to be careful with pectoral fins and dorsal fins. If there's Chris with his tiger serve him, he's gonna let him go. Just drop him in pretty much. Yeah, he'll be fine. There he goes. See ya buddy. We already have another bite going on. This spot is absolutely crazy. Oh. Small. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's not that big. Man, this fishing is crazy on this spot. Red, little red tail, little tiny baby red tail. This is like a fish tank size. We're gonna take him home to America and put him in a fish tank. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Oh my God. Look at this, Chris, John. Oh my God. My red tail was literally bigger than my tank. Or at least that size. That's awesome. Yeah. They didn't call a shovel nose that big. Really? Yeah. Look at this little thing. You gotta be careful of his spines. These little catfish will get you. That is so funny. All right, let me get a picture of him. All right, little guy. Have a good day. There he is. I think it's another IMR. He's in that wood. I got him out. Same spot as that first IMR, so we'll see. Big Pyara. Aymara, big Aymara, big wolf fish, big wolf fish guys, this is my third wolf fish this trip, you got to be careful, I don't want to bring him in too quick, be careful your line, up your line, he's going to come up again, there he is, big wolf fish, I knew it when I felt the snag, I'm like that's him, another Aymara, all right he's coming out the boat, Jump 
just trying to keep this fish down, guys. I got him under control. Another big wolf fish, guys. I'm so scared of these things. Oh, he came off. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. That's all right. I was scared of him. I was trying to keep him down so we didn't jump in and hurt anyone. But another big Aymara. Yes. We're on again. It's not as big as what you think. Man, this bite is hot and heavy at the spot. This bite is crazy here. Little leopard. Little leopard catfish. Man, he took it like a freight train. Another little leopard cat. And that's going to be his dinner for his family when he goes home tomorrow. Very nice. Good. As we're about to have some lunch, Kisman has a catfish line on. I'm going to sit here and eat. We got some chicken today, rice, and cabbage. So I'm going to chow down. Go back to you later if we get a fish. It's just finished up some lunch, and we are to our next kitty cat spot, it seems like. A pretty cool spot. Let's watch Chris's cast here. Let's see how girly it is. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Good. Good. Since Kizzy's playing around with trees over there, I'm gonna make a cast right over be before the rapid. Right there. There's gonna be a giant catfish sitting there. So let's see what we can do with this afternoon bite. It's like right here, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It's big. Okay. Go. There you go, Chris. Nice, buddy. It's not giant. Nice, buddy. What do you got there? I have no idea. Not typical. Watch your egg ball. Red tail. Yeah. A little red tail. All right. It's better than the piranhas though, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Come on. Gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Where are you going? Nowhere. Look at that. A little red tail. I love the sounds they make though. It's hilarious. You want a picture? Yeah, why not? There you go. Chris kissing a red tail. Give him a little kiss. It's a little baby. Oh god, I don't Do like it. this. Do it. <laughs> There go. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. Chris is going to release his little baby red Just tail. Just toss him. Just toss him. He's fine. All right. Now, now the red tail is going to go throw up somewhere. <laughs> you going to eat all of them? Yes, you are. All right. 
got a fish on. Could be the last fish. What was it? Yeah. Darlow. All right, it's one of the whiskerless catfish. Might be the last one for me of this trip. Small one. Good, came off easy, good. So that was just a small Darlo or whiskerless catfish. We're gonna put a new piece of bait on. We still have a little bit of time and hopefully I can pull off River Monster. John's on to something. Another Darlo? I think he fell off. I think it was a prop. I don't know, he's swimming at me. Something weird, yeah. Probably the same thing. Another small whiskerless catfish. Whatever it is, it's really small. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Another whiskerless catfish, about the same size as the one I just lost at the boat. Very strange alien looking fish, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that mouth. Super large mouth. All right, nice. So our adventure in Guyana is coming to an end. And okay. I'd like to thank you guys for watching Guyana River Monsters and Legends of Essequibo. Listen, guys. <laughs> In 365 days, we will be back here. We're gonna do this for a week, and then we're gonna go to Guns. We're gonna do Wolfish for five days, and uh, we're gonna extend the trip next time. And we're gonna get our Wolfish, we're gonna get our Pariba, we're yep. gonna get our Red Tails, and a mix of all the catfish in Essequibo. If you thought this was good, just wait till next year. Absolutely. And my friends, always stay fishing, we'll see you on the next adventure.